All right, let me do a quick little sound check. Okay, I'm doing pretty good here. Sweet, hello folks. Oh. Welcome aboard to my fantastical, magical, mystery jank stream. Except you know quite well what I'm playing. It's over in the uh, overlay, if you click over there, to see this full gigantic 250 card deck list. Uh, we will be playing a league, but first going to do one warm-up match, make sure everything is all hunky-dory, so I don't have to worry about that in an actual match that matters. Oof. Um, we'll reveal our Yorion. What do we have as a hand? A crop rotation to buy you two caverns, a court of calling, a bring to light. Um, so this I can crop rotate a cavern into something to play lingering souls. But other than that, I don't really have a whole lot. Can't even court of calling off of this, so I'm going to mold a six. Um, ooh, Raman up. Raman up in three lands and a battle of wits. We're keeping this. Um, but what goes on the bottom is probably Yarok. Right. Um, one, two, three mana. Yeah, Yarok definitely goes. Acidic slime is more useful than Yarok. All right, let's see what we are up against here. Up against down B, interesting. Hopefully everyone's doing well this evening or morning, wherever you are uh, tuned in. Turn myself down a bit, I think I was a bit loud. There we go. All right. So in case you didn't realize, the uh, goal of this deck is ooh, is to get out of Battle of Woods. Welcome to some sort of lands. Uh, we'll yield through the turn. Uh, or some sort of aggro loam. I'm betting this is aggro loam. That flex play of just like first turn wasteland. Not a fan. And we can yield through this turn. Okay, so we're against some sort of aggro loam. Probably not looking good for us. <laughs> However, the wasteland I don't have to worry about too bad because I can just uh, drop the Ramadan excavator and play around it. And that's what I'll be doing. But if this right here is, yep, there's loam. That is a nice looking loam. The dredging begins. Feel through the turn. <laughs> That's right. I run God Pharaoh in here. Um, let's make him burn. Oh, I don't want him to burn the wasteland, so he has something to bring back with that. So uh, we'll play other swamp. He'll have to cast his life from the loam one more time not get back the wasteland, and then I'll be able to drop the Ramanov Excavator on the next turn. Exploration, Foothills, and Thespian Stage. There's half of it. Alright, yep, Life from Loam. There's your stage, there's your Foothills. Probably gonna fetch with the Foothills. I'm really excited about the Acidic Slime, though. Being able to blow up a land is going to be hopefully very useful. Ooh, Collective Brutality is not bad. Two cards in hand. Um, they got back Thespian Stage and Wooded Foothills, which they played both of them, so... Okay, so let's get back this... let's get out the Savannah. 
Let's play an excavator. Nice wasteland, bro. All right. We'll yield through the turn here. I guess he could thespian stage the wasteland and have double waste and uh, gain advantage. Or at least at this point, as long as he has um, exploration out, um, he can still ramp faster. He can still play lands and blow up one of my lands every turn. So I need an answer to that. Okay, Field of the Dead, Taiga, Abrupt Decay. So let's see what happens here. Who knows? Could be one of many things. Um, yep, we'll yield to the turn. Field, Wasteland, Foothills. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Soon, yeah, okay. Uh, you should actually be able to get... Yeah, I love Field of Dead Online. Let's turn... Oh, another above decay. Rude. We might just be dead here. Um... Let's escalate to drain life and see if I can't pick anything out of their hand. Uh, both. Pay the two. We'll discard Nickel Bull Us God Pharaoh. It's not too useful to us right now, anyway. Another life from the loam. All right. Um, I am pretty sure I'm dead at this point. Yeah, lands is, uh, tough. Unless I get my, uh, my uh, graveyard hate, I can't really do anything. Uh, yield the turn. I do have um, a scavenging ooze. He's already gone through two abrupt decays. Don't know if he's, if they run a third, but I'll be able to get. I can get down a scooz. I don't have green mana to eat things though. That's the problem. Yeah, we're going to concede this game and just go to game two. I'm going to bring in three of the fairy macabs and take out Nicopolos. Oh, actually, no, I should take out creatures that I can wish for. So that means Welcome to the uh, difficulty. Uh, I can take out a collector oof. I don't think they've got any artifacts, and if so, I can uh, wish for them. Um, it's Tasa again. Tasa's the double death triggers. Yeah. Questing Beast is actually pretty good. Rectors are still good. Thractus is still good. Acidic Slime still probably good. Titania probably still good. Uh, Lich is too grindy. Gitrog Monster is too grindy. All right. We'll give this a try. Yes, I'll play first. I'll reveal Yorion. Okay, we have a vet this time, as well as Miri's Guile. The Stronghold will be really good if I get a sack outlet for the vet or can throw it away to combat. Um, Leovold isn't going to stop them too much, but it will help me draw on the protection side. And Astrolabe will help fix mana, so this is a good six.
Oh yeah, big brain move. Second main phase. All right, what do I want? Um, I've got a way to fetch for green, white, out of basics, and I need to play around wasteland. So I'm actually going to go for the swamp here first. And here comes the astrolabe. And we will draw. Ooh, path is nice. Okay, we kneel through the turn. Oh, oh, that's right. I have beverage. I expect an explore in my future. Ooh, gamble. Goodbye, reclaimer. Okay. Um, let's play this. We are going to fetch so I can get down Miri's Guile and the Veteran Explorer here. Oh my gosh, why did I choose to uh, listen to this music? Is that a green? Use that green for Miri's Guile. Yield through the turn. Unwastelandable at the moment. I've got mana to Volgroth Stronghold. Ah, there's the exploration. Okay, and now they've got an Elvish Reclaimer. And Caracas. Okay. Three cards in hand for them. Let's guile. Oh, I need to, uh, uh, yes. Okay. Options here. I can get a coaddle. I can get a trophy. Um, I think, I think I go for assassin's trophy here and leave coaddle on top. So I can click each card, put on top. The first card will do the astron. So there. Um, I think then is the coaddle, then the trophy. So I am going to draw the trophy this turn. First time I've actually used Miri's Guile on Magic Online. Here we go. Now we wait for them. Because I think with the trophy, I can blow up the exploration, which would be good. Or actually, I probably blow up the reclaimer. I'm going to swing in first um, to hopefully have the explorer die. Because having more lands uh, for me is probably better than for them, especially when they're basics. Blockers. No blockers. Okay, well, let's drop a Volar Stronghold. And before they can use it, we'll blow up the Reclaimer. And yield through the turn. Get it, get it! Yeah, that's the goal. I was given all of the cards on Magic Online for Eternal Weekend, so I'm going to dang sure use as many of them as I can. No, note size of cards in deck is 238 remaining. All right, they're Loman. I need to always yes and always uh, yield to. Okay. Whew. Yes, I know this is Talia. You were there when they were written. Yes, tis glorious. <sighs> All right. Let there be guile. That was the time for guile theme. 
Okay, uh, swords, I already have some one mana removal in hand. I can drop the Kowaddle with help of the Astrolabe to draw an extra card into that land. Um, but that's... Uh, let's put the swords there, then that, then that. It means I'm uh, path is offline for this turn. Um, hey, I win, apparently. And I won the match. I guess they just didn't want to play. Okay, now we can actually begin the league. I feel warmed up. <laughs> Thank you for the glasses. They are my fancy streaming glasses. I, I usually only wear them when I'm on camera somewhere. So. They're very fun. All right. Eh, no, not that cute. Let's. Let's do it. Uh, let me make sure I'm in with Battle of Fits. Should I play Battle of Fits or should I play a uh, uh, a more serious deck? Like, Battle of Fits isn't bad. I am now three and four with it. So, I don't know. I'm doing it. We're going for the memes. $10 meme dreams. Oh man, this is the song that I need to skip over because it's so bad. Okay, there we go. That'll work. And, uh, there's the window I need. Okay, play a league match. All right. I'm not going to let my memes be dreams. I'm going to live these memes. Okay, let's show them the Yorion that I don't think I've ever cast. Double tower draw. I hate double tower hands. Um, but ponder, nightmare, pulse. I can't, like, look at all these things I can't cast. None of these things. I'm not going to keep a hand just on um, hopes of pondering, especially when they mold to six, even though I'm on the draw. How the fuck did I double tower? I don't know. <laughs> it's a 250 card deck. It's got to happen at least sometimes. Uh, hand where my only land is Dryad Arbor. Also, no. Yeah, more than once is odd. Uh, I think I keep a five carter with Dryad Arbor as the only land. Um, and we get rid of. Um, I think one. I have to keep five. So I put two on the bottom. I think Path has to go. I know. It's very risky. Thing is, if I can get up to enough mana to Academy Rector and a Recurring Nightmare, I can just win. Um, and let's put the Rector down there. I'm on the draw. It's going to be fine. They're a deck that runs Bolt. This is no longer going to be fine. <laughs> uh. As with all things, Tali. Talia, you are right. Yup. It's okay. Let's see what we get. Hey, look at that. Never punished. This one time. Let's uh, tuck this over here. Um, I think I Dryad Arbor first, so that then I have a chance at playing Fauna Shaman next turn. Um, yeah, we'll play the Dryad Arbor and uh, risk it. Let's see. If I don't get bolted, uh, I get a Fauna Shaman. If it does get bolted... That's one fewer bolt for them to bolt my uh, Fauna Shaman. Ooh, ooh. That looks like digging for bolt. Ugh. 
But yeah, if you think about it, I have four copies of uh, four copies of Phyrexian Tower in a 250 card deck, which would be the same as having one copy in a 75 card deck, right? No, a 62 card deck. So yeah, two, getting two in the opening hand is going to be hard. I need like pen and paper to do numbers. Delta is polluted. Do the turn. Mm -hmm. No bolt. Excellent. Oh, also. Where is this? To add friend. There we go. Ha ha! Excellent. All right. Ooh, and now I have a thought seize. Ooh. Tempting. Um, but I think going after Fauna Shaman is the way to go. Um, the question is, what do I fetch for here? Because I need something with white for Academy Rector. I think I need to get a Scrubland, uh, even though it leaves my only green source Dryad Arbor. After I drop that, I don't need anything else. So for green. So let's grab my Scrubland. Yes. And then we play that. There we go. Huh. If I can draw another creature card, that'll make my recurring nightmare even better once I can finally cast it. Uh, yield through turn. Or yield through this turn. Yield through this one as well. Because, <sighs> yeah, I can... Uh, I can f the Fauna Shaman is definitely the bigger target if they've got a Bolt or a um, Fatal Push. Yeah, I need two more lands to start going off um, and Thought Seizing them when they're clearly digging for something. I don't think this is a Delver deck that runs Bolt. I think this might be Storm because they're in Grixis colors right now. The only thing I haven't seen is any fast mana. Um, I don't know show and tell run or splashes black. Let's see though. Um, I could be wrong on that. Or it's just a really, really unlucky Grixis Delver player. Oh, this could be Strifo Pile. Strifo Pile is just like four color good stuff. Um, it's named after the pioneer of the deck whose username on Magic Online is Strifo. I think I played against them in um, an event a while ago. Oh no, they hung out in my chat a bit ago. Um, but yeah, without Digital Rate Shaman, you have uh, Astrolabe instead. Um, which helps mitigate that enough. Ooh! Trop trop! Um... I think it's Lingering Souls time. Like, no joke. No, they've been doing too little for too long. I need to Thought Seize them. Or... Dark Creature Card for Graveyard to the Battlefield. Okay, I have like three routes here. Safe route is I Thought Seize. Safe route two is I Lingering Souls. In it to win it route is play the Recurring Nightmare, hope to top deck a land, and jam through an Academy Rector so that I can get um, get Battle of Wits. Problem is they're a blue deck with five cards in hand, so I'm betting something will eat Counter Magic. Um, and I would very much like to see what they have. So the Thought Seize is happening. Thought Seize is the better option here. Sometimes you just gotta talk through it. Ooh, yeah, it's combo. 
Look at that infernal tutor. Um, I think we take the tutor because um, then there's even more they have to go looking for. Yep, tutor time. Bye bye. And let's keep track of what you've got still. A veil, ponder, and double dark writ. Um, if that's the case, I think I can just swing in for three. Um, because Fauna Shaman's not going to discard my Academy Rector. Yeah, let's go. Man, they've got a lot of mana, though. Like, they could ponder into something really good, and then I'm just done for. Um, I don't know how consistently I can fight against combo with a 250 card deck. <laughs> he said nonchalantly. All right, there's one dark writ. And there's a ponder. Interesting. Oh, hey, Lee. How's it going? Somehow you weren't already a mod in my very, very angry all the time chat. Ooh, Wishclaw Talisman. Okay. I don't think they realize I'm a Battle of Wits deck, and giving me that is just going to be really, really good for me. Um. <laughs> um. But now they've got the mana to Wish Claw with enough up to Dark Rit. Uh, Storm is three. What could they get in hand that casts three? Because they, they can't dump the Veil of Summer and cast the... W okay. <laughs> so they can Wish Claw. They can run out of mana and get... Yep, okay. So here's the Dark Rit. Yep. Oh, they got two Dark Rit. Wait, how did they... Oh, with the Ponder. Got it, got it. Okay. So now with Veil in hand, they've got four mana. Uh, Storm counts five. They could get up to six, seven. Um, 14 is not quite enough for the kill, but they can add Nas. Tapped out for add Nas at 14. What do we got? Okay, Thoughtseize, Underground Sea, Preordain, Cabal Ritual, Petal, Tutor, Thoughtseize. Might just be them beating themselves. Another Talisman. Past in Flames. Oh, man. This is tough breaks for them, because seriously, they've only got one fast mana and one more land, so they can Cabal Ritual here to go back up to five, um, which will get them enough to Wish Claw again, but not enough mana to do anything with it, because um, Wish Claw is a wish for three, essentially. Um, Past in Flames, they don't have... Uh, well, they do have... Uh, no, because they need to use that for the ritual. Um... They've got too many cards in hand to be able to tutor. Um, unless they do uh, Cabal Ritual to five. Uh, wish Claw. Wish with Wish Claw for um, Lion's Eye Diamond. Play Lion's Eye Diamond. Um, Storm is eight. Um, cast Infernal Tutor. Um, crack LED. Oh no, that doesn't give them enough mana though. That leaves them at three mana, and they need four. My opponent is one mana short for, from killing me. Holy crap. Because that would put them a ten drills that would be a nine drills, and me being at 17, that's enough. Um, oh, boy. Brainstorm to one. Yikes. They hit a pedal or... Oh, they're stopping. Okay. Land, Brainstorm, yep. Because with Brainstorm, they need to hit um, two pieces of fast mana now.
turn that off for a sec. Yeah, so brainstorm they need two fast one fast mana now. So another pedal won't do it. They need pedal pedal LED. So they need a pedal and an LED or two pedals off the top. Oh boy. I'm so glad I'm not the one playing combo here. Well, I mean I'm playing combo, but not storm. <laughs> Oh, boy. Thank you, by the way, for everyone who is tuning in. Um, just doing a, a practice stream for this weekend's Eternal Weekend. I may or may not be playing Battle of Fits, which is this Battle of Wits Nick Fit deck. Um, depends on how tonight goes. But this is my uh, warm-up night slash um, Legacy League for fun. Um, I think I can just... Yield through the turn. Oh, they got the LED! Crap. Okay, let's see if they found the line. Because now Wishclaw Talisman... Um, oh no! They can't! They needed the two... Um, they needed the two mana to be able to Cabal Ritual first. So there's the Preordain gone. And it was an Underground Sea. Yes, we got it. Whew! Okay. Um, is there anything that comes in? Um, let's go with some fairy macabres that I can still wish for. Um, things that are not going to be good against them. Slow, grindy things. Let's get out some slow, grindy creatures. Yeah, this is, this is the whole deck, by the way. Uh, you can find the deck also in the overlay just above, uh, over there. You should be able to click or touch on your phone or whatever. But it should be there. But yes, this is the 250 cards of glory that makes up uh, Battle of Wits Nick Fit, or Battle of Fits. In case it wasn't clear, the, the, way, the main way that the deck wants to win is getting out of Battle of Wits, usually via an Academy Rector. Uh, but also I've got the standard Academy Rector package with Overwhelming Splendor, Cruel Reality, and uh, Curse of Death's Hold. But also Curse of Misfortunes, because I can't consistently get off more than one Rector all the time. Um, plus I've got a standard Nick Fit package with a whole bunch of Tudor stuff like Bring to Lights, um, lots of Sack Outlets, lots of redundancy in uh, my removal. Um, and just for the heck of it, I think I've got... Um, uh, Dark Depth Thespian stage combo in here, too. So, all in all, uh, a very fun deck to play. Uh, and fares way better than you would think. Um, like, I have... Uh, I played this against, like, a fast reanimator deck and uh, ended up okay. Um, so this hand is just dead against combo. Um, so this is definitely going to be a mulligan. They've got a hand of seven, so that's a little worrying. Ooh, okay, so I've got Neoform, and Birds of Paradise, and Baleful Strix, and Diabolic Intent. Um, I am going to keep this and put the Sajiri Step on the bottom, because I don't want Sajiri Step in my hand anyway. Um, if I can get to turn 3 with this, I think I'm good. Because um, Neoform for a 2-drop gets me um, either Collector Oof to turn off all his artifacts... Sure, let's see if you can pick the right thing. Uh, yield through turn. Um, either gets me um, Collector Oof to turn off his artifacts, or can get me... Uh, where is it? That's probably the two drop I end up getting. Um, or I can get Scoos. Um, two mana. Yeah. For three mana, I would end up with Leovold. Um, but yeah, I've got lots of... I've got a handful of ways. Uh, Gaddock Teague is in my sideboard, sadly. Yep, there goes the birds. That's fine. That does cut me off from Baleful Strix and from Neoform. Ha! <laughs> Except it doesn't. Let him keep thinking that. Okay, so next turn, uh, we'll go into the Strix. And then we'll Neoform into it's our most punishing 3-drop. Probably Leovold. Um, probably Leovold. Duress. 
Just a non-land card from it. Man, they just tipped way hard into hand destruction here. They saw how good my Thoughtseize was, and they just wanted as many Thoughtseizes as they could get. Okay, I'm going to just skip over the rest of this song. <laughs> They're smart. They hit the Baleful Strix here, because um, it's my only creature. And the other two cards in my hand that they can get are dead without a creature. A is on brand as ever. <laughs> Ooh, they get Neoform. Interesting choice. I am very surprised by that. Ooh, a Brainstorm. That's nice. Uh, blue, black. There's that. We're going to always yield to those. Ooh, can bring to light for three currently, which is not that bad. Uh, yield through the turn. They've got four cards in hand. They kept something super discard heavy. Um, so they're going for a much slower game. Um, oh, Neoform is super scary. Like, um, I have another deck that's the other deck I might end up playing um, for Eternal Weekend um, is Confounding Neofit. Um, so it uses Confounding Conundrum and Neoform to have just a toolbox of creatures and punish the opponent for fetching um, and getting extra lands. Uh, it is absolutely destructive against uh, fair decks. Um, it's a card. Uh, that's what Confounding Conundrum does. It's solid. But yeah, with that with uh, Veteran Explorer, they will get two lands. Those two lands see each other enter with Confounding Conundrum, and they have to bounce two. <laughs> so it's like, great, you can go search for some lands that go to your hand. Uh, what's even better than that um, is that people misplay around Confounding Conundrum all the time. And uh, they uh, make huge mistakes when trying to... Uh, ooh, Pedal for Ponder, that is desperate. Um, and so they will not fetch or choose not to go get lands. Um, the misplays are strong around Confounding Conundrum. Okay. I have a Ponder of my own, but let's first swing in with the Strix. Strix is attacking. Let's go. Okay, um, I think I ponder first. Let's see what I get. This will allow me to... Uh... <sighs> this will allow me to see more cards than a Brainstorm would. Um... Woo! Thank goodness. All right. We have a vet and a fairy macabre. Oh, crap. Um, okay, so the peatland is definitely the last card. Question is, do I want the fairy macabre? I think I want the fairy macabre in hand because that lets me... Um, um, Stream Decker bot, yes. Uh, oh, sorry. I don't know how to have it. It's in the... Uh, overlay but that's what the deck is um i want the fairy macabre because that can disrupt some of their plays um and the vet i can wait till next turn to then be able to vet diabolic intent and uh lock down um so vet so i want the fairy macabre in hand so vet fairy macabre shuffle library no drew the fairy macabre play the land and then pass the turn. Lee, that would be excellent. You missed my fantastic starting soon screen. I'm gonna go to it real quick just so you can see. Thought you'd appreciate that. 
Graphic design is my passion. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> um, yep. Because, yeah, the, the fairy macabre will uh, block any uh, past in flames shenanigans, which I know are unlikely at this stage, but it's the it's actually something that can... Uh, uh, <laughs> um, in this... Oh yeah, the graphic design is my passion picture. Oh, it's so good. Like I know several people who are in graphic design and they love that picture. They're like, this is every perfect, terrible thing in a very succinct package. Oh, let me see if I can find that real quick. Uh... There's so many different um, variations on it, but like, this is probably the best one. <laughs> this one's good. Um, this is the other good one. <laughs> but yeah, graphic design is my passion. <laughs> okay, pondered, and they've got a misty rainforest. Oh, shoot, I forgot. I need to pass to combat and end step. Ooh, we are looking home free here. Um, cause I can just oof them. Okay, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna go for the attack first, cause then I will vet diabolic intent, get two lands, oof them, and then they can they can't use any of their artifacts anymore. Which should I don't think they'll scoop to that. Um but might be enough that they'll um, slow them down a huge amount. Because they can't LED. They can't even, like, LED to discard their hand, which is huge. And then I'll be at five mana to be able to bring to light, which will be extra excellent. Um... Blue, black, green. I need a planes off of this. So black, green, diabolic intent, sack the vet. Vet trigger, yes. Uh, yes, use the ability. We are listening to uh, Neil Cicerega. Um, this is his album Mouth Sounds. Um, all of the songs on the album are mashups of uh, Smash Mouth and something else. Um, so, oh crap. So I have a plains and a forest. <laughs> People want to listen to other stuff. This is part. Of, this is the weird part of the album. That's for sure. Okay, now I get to Diabolic Intent. Now I have to... Oh, am I getting dazed? Oh, why are they Cabal Ritualing now? Is Ad Nauseam an instant? Yeah, it is. Okay. Tendrils. Oh, crap. They've got a Tendrils. I may have gotten a little too greedy. Yeah. Now the question is, I can get any one card out of my deck. I have green and white. <laughs> what can I get that stops them? They do it now because they're worried about me using Diabolic Intent to get a silver bullet or something that'll uh, stop them. Like, this is the right play for them. Um... Them getting enough mana, uh, enough mana and storm count to get to 10 is unlikely at the moment, though. Um, one, two, three, four, five. They have six spells in hand. Um, with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five mana, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana, eleven, twelve mana. Effective, 12, 9, 
five, four. They've got four mana that's not rep that they have other than this. Yeah, Adnaz in response to the first bullet would make sense. Uh, but the thing is, they don't get to see what uh, I get with Diabolic Intent. Um, then again, they would just do this in response to whatever I play is the correct option. Um, look at me, never playing, never having played Storm and giving this Storm player, like, here's some things that you should do. <laughs> just put myself in my place here. I'm playing freaking Battle of Wits with Nick Fit. I'm one to talk. <clears throat> They're doing the math, though. They're doing the monster math. <sighs> Let's see. Because I'm wondering why they're they're sitting and thinking. Ooh, another Infernal Tutor. Okay, yeah, now they go for it. At two. Okay. Now I get to Diabolic Intent and search my 236 cards to find what I want. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not playing this in paper. <laughs> Aren't I considered Seattle's ant expert? Man, look at how useful this size of card is. <laughs> so here is where I probably lose to forgetting to sideboard, because I should have put in a Gaddock Teague, uh, because Gaddock Teague just shuts down Tendrils, uh, and that would just win me the game on the spot. So I need to remember to bring that in uh, before the next game. As it currently stands, the best thing I can do is hope that they went real thin on mana, um, and I can find my Collector Oof. Um, because if I can get my Collector Oof in here... Um, where the heck is it? <laughs> oh my god, there's so many cards. <laughs> Second row. Third column? Wait. Second row, second column, middle. That's a scavenging ooze. Oh, there it is. Okay. Collector roof. So I get the collector roof. I hope he's tight enough on mana um, that this turns off his infernal tutors. Um, or turns off the Lion's Eye Diamonds, which blocks his Infernal Tutors. Um, this is the only, um, it's the only hard lock piece that I have against him right now. Bonus points. It represents lethal against him next turn, so that's good too. Alright. Uh, let's go on to another Neil C. Sirica album. Of the same vein, this one is called Mouth Dreams. It is the latest in the Mouth Saga of albums. It's also one of my favorites, and it flows very nicely into other songs. So let's see. So there's my oof. Should I taunt him and just be like, big oof? <laughs> Every time you try and search for a card when you're Battle of Woods deck, your laptop freaks out? Yeah. Um, I... If I was playing this in an event I really cared about, um, I would 100% close and restart the client every time a new game started. Um, just because um, like, I don't trust the Magic Online client. <laughs> And I 100% agree that it would not hold up to multiple games with a 250 card deck. <clears throat> so hopefully this cut enough mana um, out of their combo that they're not going to be able to uh, combo off and kill me. They might be able to prevent dying by just um, like ritual, ritual, thought sees, um Change the song, you can't hear me talking. <laughs> it's almost over, I promise. There we go. Um, <laughs> there, I've, I have, I will, uh, I will turn down the yahoos for a moment. Um, but yeah, uh, they can still, like, ritual, yep, 
here comes uh, ritual or ritual um, thought sees tutor tutor tendrils or something like that like I think they're just gonna value tendrils here um, to try and stay alive it's their best bet one two three okay yeah not enough that I could have fairy macabre them out of that okay the Yahoo song is done okay enjoy your LED that's an extra storm count I'll say storm count four five ooh they might have me here. One sec. Let's see. Nine mana. Ten, eleven mana. If nothing else, we go to game three and I win on clock, which I don't like necessarily. Oh, they can't fetch with both of their lands. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> That's extra funny. Um, okay, they veil for storm count. Storm count seven. Chain of vapor. What are they vaporing? Vaporing back there. Oh. Oh, that's a good play. I think I'm going to die to tendrils here. Seven. Yep, because they're going to keep sacking all their lands to bounce all of their artifacts. Um, play them all back. That's storm count 10 with enough mana to tendrils. Wow. Oh, and then they bounce back the oof. <sighs> Return a non-land permanent. Um, nope, I'm not going to sack a land. Yep. So Gaddic Teague wouldn't have stopped that either. Um, yield through the turn. Oh, they had two lion's eye diamonds. Wow. There's their 10. Dang, yep. Okay, let's concede this game. I'm gonna go to game. Trace. Um, Gaddic Teague needs to come in because I have more ways of tutoring it from the deck than I do from the sideboard. Um, I think I just pull back one of the Fairy Macabs for that. Um, two in the board, two in the main seems fine. Uh, almost everything else seems Better. Actually, no. I'll pull out an Eternal Witness for a third Fairy Macabre. Fairy, uh, Eternal Witness is much grindier than uh, Fairy Macabre. Plus, catching him, catching them unawares with, uh, uh, like, trying to fl either before they can flashback or when they cast a Past in Flames to pick out a few key cards is something I can do. So, let's see. Worst case scenario, though. Um, they have, what, like four minutes and change on clock? Yeah. Um, yes, I will play first against the combo player. Sure, I will reveal Yorion. I have Collective Brutality and a whole lot of not much else. Um, I'm going to mulligan this. Ugh. Wrong colored land. Uh, so we're going down to five. Bog, Scrubland, Marin, Karn, Neoforms. Ugh, I hate this, but I'm going to have to keep at five, I think. I would like, I would much rather have a do-nothing five, uh, five card hand, uh, because I can eventually do things with this. Okay, so we're going to keep, we're going to pitch, uh, get a Neoform and Karn at the bottom. Uh, and we can keep the Bajuka Bog until a couple turns in. Play the scrub land and yield through the turn. I almost missed my first land drop because I'm bad at magic online. Behold, with your thought sees, my hand of absolute crap. All right, Baleful Strix is not terrible. Let's play the tower. And yield through the turn. Oh, don't tell me they're going to combo off right now. Holy crap. No way. No. No. Oh, oh Adnos. Okay.
Oh, what do we got? Tutor, ponder, thoughtsies, ritual, petals. Yeah, they are going for it, though. There's the LED. Crap. Okay, they got the LED. They've got the tutor. Um, and one, two more mana. Four mana. I think they've got me. This is the problem with a 250 card deck. Uh, uh, not enough consistency. They don't have six mana uh, LED and tutor. Now they do. Uh, six, seven, eight. Um... Because they don't have Threshold yet for Cabal Ritual. And... The one. The singular problem, I know. Five. Wow, they're still going! What are they going for still? Alright, let's uh, yield through the turn and see if they can do this with their two and a half minutes left. Okay, pedal. Two LEDs. Yeah, storm count seven though. Um, cause cabal ritual will only get them to three, or we'll get them up to four mana. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> oh yeah, then they crack it. Now they cast the ritual. Get up to five, six. Yeah. Cool. Nice duress. Nine. Oh, if they just have tendrils in hand right here, that's absolutely great. Nope. Tutor, LED. Yep. Ugh. Yeah, could they have sacked LED in response to Cabal Ritual um, Infernal Tutor on the stack? Um, yes, but they didn't have enough mana to cast both of them before sacking an LED. Um, so, that was a way that they could have got to their threshold. They definitely, uh, did otherwise. Ugh. Alright. Down one. That's fine. Ugh. Both, that was way closer than it should have been. Plus, my goal with this deck is always 3-2 uh, the dream. Because um, then I can play again easier. Yeah, right, what is it? 3-2 and you get your... Oh no, yeah. 3-2, you get your points back. On the die roll, yes, I will play first. Behold, my Yorion. <laughs> a plague Engineer, a Tracker, a Trophy, a Court of Calling. This is really good. Um, I'm one mana away from being able to play a reasonable threat. Um, two mana away from being able to tutor for kind of whatever. Um, this is an okay hand. This is a keepable hand, especially with removal available. Lands are on color. I have some things that can do things. But yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, I'll be playing in the Sunday Eternal Weekend event. That's the one that works best with my schedule. Rather than Friday night midnight my turn, my time, or 2 p.m. Friday my time. Some of us have day jobs. Um, so I might not be playing this caliber of jank, but it's definitely going to be something funky. Um, I have a couple decks in, in mind. Well, that's a nice martial arts. Um, uh, if you want to know when I go live doing this or playing arena or whatever else, uh, feel free to give me a follow. Um, I'm like th one follower away from the 50 follower mark. Um, and because of how, um, Twitch works, I unlock new features, um, <laughs> Like, I get new features once 200, or once, not 200, once 50 people follow me. So, oh, thank you, Alo Cartes, for being my 50th follower. <laughs> I can save VODs now, uh, I think. I might have to, like, stream seven different days to do it, but it's a lot easier. <laughs>
Uh, Lux Diamond. Is this Pox? Wasteland, Swamps, Mox Diamond. No, there's white there too. What the heck? That was a really rough wasteland. It could be loam? Ugh. Yeah, maybe loam. I just haven't seen any white yet, or any green yet. Uh, yield through turn. There we go. Um, but yeah, very, very likely. Um, yep, there's the green. It's loam. I'm expecting a life from the loam right here. Life from the loam is actually one of the. Uh, oh, or Ramanov Excavator. That is basically the same thing. Um, sadly, not a green source to be able to ass Assassin's Trophy something. Um, because blowing up the excavator would be good. Same with blowing up the diamond. Um, why did I do that? I knew they could just wasteland things. That was dumb. That said, I don't think I had any other choice. Like, that's at least sticking them without a land. Oh, uh, yes, I will lose mana. That's fine. Come on, deck, get happy. Oh, gross. Each player discards a card. Um, yeah, I'll discard Yarok and just really confuse them. Be like, who the heck plays like Panharmonicon on a creature? I do. That's who. Uh, man, yield through the turn. A green source. A green source will do a lot for me right now. Everyone's discarding. Um, I think Tireless Tracker is mostly useless. Um, Plague Engineer might still be good, so I'm going to hang on to that. I want two Exile effects, so we'll get rid of the Tireless Tracker for now. Goodbye, Tracker. And you track your way into the graveyard of peace. <sighs> All right. Oh, bring to light. That's not great. Drawing a land would be great here, especially if it's one that can let me play a Veteran Explorer. Uh, I'm going to discard the Court of Calling now because Bring to Light is just going to be better for me, eventually. But Bring to Light is close on the chopping block. Uh, the rest of these are things I can cast relatively soon. <laughs> they discarded their Abrupt Decay. Well, that's nice, through the nice of them. They are having mercy on my soul. One card in hand. Ooh, what do we got? Ooh, oh, they must have something they want to keep if they're willing to dump the silent clearing to draw a card before they, oh. Lily's ult is really bad against me right now. <laughs> Separate my swamp into two piles. <laughs> Pick the pile I want. I'll take the pile with the swamp. <laughs> okay, bring to light goes. Just trying to make like the most confusing graveyard for them too. <gasps> Yay! Veteran Explorer. Okay. 
The dream's not dead. Still on life support, but not dead. Uh, for those wondering, the song in the background right now that is playing is called Ribs, um, because it prominently features the uh, Baby Back Ribs um, jingle, um, but also has a sample from Marilyn Manson. Just come to a player, look at the top three cards of your library, put any number of them into your graveyard, and the rest back on your library in any order. If it's Delirium, it's got plus two, plus two. And it's a two-two trampler. That's annoying. But okay. No attacks. Smart. Okay. <gasps> oh, mm. beautiful. Okay, so now I have the option to plow something and I can crop rotate path something, right? Because crop rotate doesn't come in tapped. Oh man, this is going to be great actually. Um, I can also trophy Lily right now. So I trophy Lily, then I still have enough to Swords the Grim Flare, and then I can chump block the Ramanop Excavator for value, um, and then path it next turn. Um, I think that's the play here. Trophy Lily. Um, and then pass the turn. <laughs> yeah, it turns out... Uh, uh, no attacks. Yeah, it turns out crop rotation does work. <laughs> if it was sacrifice an untapped land, it would be a lot less good. All right, fetching. Six mana. Okay, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of your library. I don't want them to be able to do that even once. So away it goes. Got a waterlogged grove now. Um, I think the right play is play a uh, attack in, drop my land, play a Plague Engineer, um, and then then we go from there. Like I'll see if I can bait the attack in. Well, that's not actually going to do anything. That just gets me... Yeah. Pathing the Ramen Up Excavator is probably... I should just do that. That's just the guaranteed way to get rid of it. Like, cool. You can have one more land off of it. If you have any more in your deck. But judging a, you're a land... Oh, yes! They are out of basics. Attack with the vet. Okay. They have one card in hand. I wonder what it is. With Waterlogged Group. Um... So I can hold the Plague Engineer till I have something I need to kill, and I get to hold Crop Rotation, too. So, this is good. Yeah, so Explorer won't die to my Plague Engineer, because Plague Engineer is only creatures um, of the... Sorry, creatures of the chosen type my opponent's control get minus one, minus one. Oh, Chalice on one. Um... I think I have to crop rotate now. Um, oh crap, what do I actually sack here? I think I sack the forest and keep the waterlogged grove up because that'll get me green even though it costs mana. So we sack that. Ah oh, yes, lands. I have a handful of creatures in my yard. Um, 
black, white, green, blue available to me. So I could Bajooka Bog them. Not useful. I could tower to just massively ramp into something. Um, I could Volarath Stronghold and start recurring. Like, bring back my tireless tracker. Um, do I have enough mana to just do that this turn? I do. So I could bring back, like, tireless tracker and play it next turn. Um, but I think tower is the best option, just to have a sack outlet. Yeah, because then I'm unswordsable. Yeah, let's get Phyrexian Tower. Because a lot of my sack outlets do cost one mana, so... Time to remember to play around Chalice of the Void. Ooh, Muldrotha! <gasps> Muldrotha! <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay, uh, we go to combat. We swing with Vet. Okay. All right, second creature for double black. Um, I'm gonna get uh, island uh, forest. Island forest, because then I can pay all of this without having to use the waterlogged grove. Bloop. Island forest. Forest. So I have two floating, four, five, oh yeah. Muldrotha! <laughs> the better excavator. Because now, here comes, here comes the great play here. Oh no, I won't, because it'll get countered. Crap. Um, is there anything I can have that costs two? Permanents that cost two. Mm, looks like no. Um... But let's just get back the... We'll get the forest for now. Um, so as not to get uh, wasted. Then again, wasteland doesn't matter. <laughs> Ugh. Mm. The super duper excavator is good to go. End step. We're going to draw the card here off of that because... Oh! Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Ooh, I have a Mystic Sanctuary now, too. Even better. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Um, black, green, white, blue. I can bring to light for four. Oh, no, it's a sorcery. I can't cast that. I can bring back my Tireless Tracker. I can put bring to light on top. Um, we're just going to attack first. <laughs> I absolutely adore this deck. I am so upset that if I were to build it in paper, it would literally cost over $9,000. <laughs> I'm not even joking at the over 9,000 amount. Like, it's stupid expensive. <laughs> That's why I can only play it these very few times. Ooh, I could actually just go for Yarok. Um, because Yarok and then Tireless Tracker next turn is really good. Um. Yes, okay, so here's the play. I go for Yarok. Um, uh, 4-5. Get Yarok. Then I'm going to... Oh, do I have to have two islands for that, right? Spellfield. Uh, three or more other islands. Three or more other islands. Boo. All right, well, drop, and then I need the Underground Sea before I can bring back the Bring to Light as a backup plan. But we will drop a Sylvan Library as our first backup plan. And then next turn is Tireless Tracker, drop a land, get two clues. Excellent. I need to be careful of my clock, though. Ooh. Felidar Retreat. Ah, oh, very nice. Draw step. Okay. Um, where can I say always yes, always yield? 
Yes. Put two cards back. Uh, let's put back the bayou uh, and the plains. Nifty. Um, start with combat. Swing for nine. There at two. Um, check the yard. Cast the tireless tracker. Uh, and here, play the land, double trigger, always yield to. Oh crap. Um, neat. And then I can fetch for something that is also an island, and then Mystic Sanctuary on the next turn. Or I just win by combat damage on the next turn, too. So I have a lot of ways to win right now. <laughs> Think you can change up the deck and make it cost over 10k? Probably. Um, it's only a thousand dollars on Magic Online in ticks. Um, first of all, rude. Second of all, that's only going to slow me down a slight amount. Let's grab something that's part island. Uh, let's grab a trap. Uh, do I want any clues popped now? Nah. I have two attackers and you have one blocker. I think I win. Ooh, Tesa. Creature dying. And village rights. Uh, also don't care. Um, actually, let's keep Tesa. So we'll put these back and we'll put that back. Um, okay, here we go. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, oh, yeah, I could have just played this to get it back. Nine. Um... Let's just go in for the combat and see what happens. And then backup plan. Um, I can do three, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, one short. With 10 mana, I can tireless tracker, sack a clue. Um, okay, begin sideboarding. I don't have anything I want to sideboard here. I don't think. Hidden cards. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, because, okay, my wishboard package is pretty much everything here. It's all creatures. Oh, crap, did I just put one in? I did. Okay. But yeah, these are all things I can wish for, or Yorion, who I can just get. Um, Fairy Macabre isn't going to help me a whole ton. Um, let's bring him in. We'll get three of them in. Let's pull out land. So um, I don't think Oof is going to be very good. Uh, I mean, it'll turn off Mox Diamond. Yeah, I'll keep it. Um, Uh, Leovold can go, because they're not going to be targeting stuff or drawing a whole ton. Um, I can push one Soul Herder out, too. The Black Bolt land. Seems like a fine card to have. Yeah, I thought about it long and hard. Like, a lot of the flip lands are debatably playable in here. Um... I didn't put them in initially, just because I wasn't sure of them yet. Yet. Doesn't mean they're not ever going in. It's just they're not going in uh, the first time. Um, I think I can pull out Nethroy to the sideboard. Um, 
Gitrog. Uh, Gitrog can go to the sideboard too. Keep the extra grindier uh, stuff out. Okay. Hey, Talia, thanks for uh, tuning in. I have no lands, so this is a mulligan. Okay, so I can't Astrolabe here, but I can Green Sun for one or Miri's Guile. This isn't bad. They're on 6-2. I'm going to keep this and put the Omniscience on the bottom. I'm more likely to be able to hardcast an Ugin. I'll yield through their turn. Oh, hmm, excellent. Okay, I think we play the Grove into Guile. And then we can Green Sun for one on the next turn. Or Astrolabe. If we don't get wasted here. Which, getting waste landed here would be very bad. <laughs> Alright, uh, we can yield through turn. I gotta be more clock conscious. <gasps> Good, no waste. However, Abrupt Decay? Ooh, Scoos! That's a Scoos I can use. Well, a Scoos they can use. It's their end step. Sure. My turn. Okay, we are going to... Oh, come on. Always yes. Always yield to. Yes. Ooh! <laughs> Sylvan Library and Miri's Guile. Excellent. Um, so let's put the uh, Curse Sanctuary Library. I would like the library. Um, do I want to play it this turn, though, is the question? Um, or do I want the vet in the yard? Well, the vet in the yard isn't useful with the scoos out, because then it'll eat it in response to the vet trigger. Oh, it takes so long. Cool. Um, are there other one drops I want out of the deck? Um, this deck list is so huge, I gotta go look at it. Vets, birds, and, elv and uh, elvish reclaimers. No, I'm fine. So, library it is. And next turn, I can astrolabe through to draw some extra cards. Yield through turn. And we can yield through their turn too. I'm gonna take at least two here from the Scoos, and that's fine. I have answers to Scoos. Decay the library. Okay. That's fine. We can live with that. Um. Put the two, okay. one, two, three. I think my route here to win is get the Curse of Misfortunes on them as early as possible. Um, I have my one black for it. Um, plus I have an Astrolabe. That'll draw me into more stuff. Let's put the Sanctuary down there, followed by the Curse, followed by the Cavern. Gonna play the cavern and name human. Human. Um, we'll play the astrolabe to draw that curse. Okay, and then my two drops. What can I get for two here that would be good? Uh, is there anything for two that I can use that'll ramp a lot of mana? I can get a Scoos to fight his Scoos. Um, Fauna Shaman, not useful. Oof, not useful. Baleful Strix, maybe? Um, oh, plus I only have one mana right now. 
So it would be Bird of Paradise. Yeah. Bird of Paradise it is. This is weird. I, I Yeah, Green Sun Zenith for one for Birds of Paradise. <laughs> Because now all I need to do is see a land in the top three with Miri's Guile, and I've got Curse of His Fortunes on them, and I should be able to shut them out in four turns. <clears throat> okay. Whew. Yield through the turn. Let's go. I don't need much time to get that kill either. It's just Curse of His Fortunes every turn, and uh, hope I don't die to anything else. Well, that sucks. <sighs> Eats the Ugin. Smart. Um, no blocks. Merry time. Therapy, Rainforest, Forest. I think we get the Rainforest, we can just shuffle things away. Um, um, play Rainforest, C cast Fairy Macabre, have a 2-2 that can trade with the Scoos with no creatures in the yard. Yeah, let's do that. Like... Combat Macabre. Um, and then we will... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Let me yield through the rest of this turn. Blue. Okay, so I have enough that I can cast a Battle of Wits if I top deck one, too, which is also important. I haven't even seen one in any of the games that I've uh, played so far today. Out of the reliquary. Okay. Uh, yield until the end step. I will happily trade with the Scoos. I need something that taps for white, ideally. Um, and green that doesn't hit me anymore would help too, so Savannah's the way to go. Okay. Guile. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Ooh, a burp decay is a nice top deck. Um, so let's put the Bayou Sanctuary a burp decay because then I can get back another a burp decay later. Nice. Um,. I don't want them searching up any lands, so we're just going to decay that now. And yield through the turn. No attacks. And yield through this turn. They have a library now. All right. Uh... Let's get the, uh, we'll go Sanctuary, Thoughtseize, Bayou, play the Bayou, draw a card, uh, cast the Thoughtseize. Let's get rid of Felidar Retreat and track their revealed stuff, uh, yield through the turn, no attacks. Okay, so they can loam, and they can him, but as long as I'm hellbent, it's pretty useless to uh, to him to Turok me. Let's leave the oh it does okay I can move that to another screen. I like leaving it there, so y'all can track what I can track. Ooh, drawing two cards, so they paid four for it. Loam? Three mana, four mana to Leyline of the Void Me. 
Wow. They were right in recognizing that I was some sort of fit deck. Not bad. Okay, I don't have anything. Oh, I have blue sources from birds. Um, Neoform gets me a two cost, which can get me a tight hollow sculler, which can eat the life from the loam for a bit. Um, or a scooze to eat their whole yard. Or fiend artisan to start sacking things once I get another creature. Um, that's about it. So Neoform's not that good. Uh, Sanctuary can get me back. Thoughts, uh, thought Seize and Abrupt Decay. Um, I think I want the Neoform. But I also want the Brainstorm. Um... I want the Neoform to lock him out of Life from the Loaming, uh, locking me. So let's go Sanctuary, Brainstorm, Neoform. Drawing that, getting blue um, and green to Neoform, sack the birds. Grab Tide Hollow Sculler, Tide Hollow Sculler, targeting them. Okay, we take Life from the Loam. I know they have a him. And we pass. Yield through turn. Okay. Uh, and yield through this turn. <sighs> yeah, I wanted to play in more than just the Sunday Eternal Weekend uh, event, but the schedule for the other ones just didn't line up well. Only drawing, oh, drawing, drawing two cards, decaying the Sculler, getting back the uh, Life from the Loam. Okay, don't know why it doesn't go back into the revealed section. Playing tomorrow and Saturday, normal stream and Sunday. All right. Miri's Guile, Green Sun for three, also Acidic Slime. Um, I think Green Sun for three is the play here. Um, everything's getting exiled, so I can't stock my yard anymore. Um, Soul Herder does me nothing. Romanoc Excavator gets me a Misty Rainforest. Not worth. Uh, Plague Engineer does nothing. Leovold is out. Knight of the Reliquary. Um, I can land combo him. Um, or actually, um, Knight of Autumn. Knight of Autumn to blow up the Leyline of the Void. There we go. Okay, so slime that. That. Gotta go quick, I got four minutes. Uh, X is three. Okay. Uh, Night of the Autumn. Let me just make sure there's not anything else here I'm missing that's obvious. Yeah, Night of Autumn. Gonna destroy the Ley Line so I can do other combos. Because combo kill is my uh, best chance. I will think about that, Lee. Um, I know Friday I'm not going to be able to. I know, I gotta watch my clock. I'm real bad at that. Ugh. It's even worse with a deck where I have so many different lines I need to keep track of. Okay, there's a wasteland. That's annoying. And he's got a life from the loam, so I'll be getting loamed soon. Mm. Excuse me. But they're at least going in my yard this time. Aw. Okay. Guile. Sweet. Um, let's... Uh, it's a human knight. Sweet. Okay. Uh, so forest, brainstorm, knight. Uh, cast, the, uh, cast this for white, green, knight. Uh, yield through turn. I now have a 5-5, five five, so I've got a uh, two-turn lethal. 
one turn if they decide to draw extra off the Sylvan Library for some reason. Am I playing Felidar Retreat in the list? No, I'm not. Um, I'm not, like, I only wanted to go a little bit into the land strategy, um, and in my initial, like, rough solitaire testing, um, ended up um, not having a lot of cards on the field at the same time very frequently. So, uh, like, was not necessarily super good. Um, okay, we need the land. Um, play the land. Uh, I think we go for the attack. Yeah, we go for the attack. Get them to four. And then once they start getting cat creatures, we... Uh, or to three, actually. Um, once they've got uh, cat creature chump blockers, we can turn um, knight to start doing um, combo kill stuff. Like, uh, if they go to Loam for a Wasteland, um, if they do it this turn, obviously I can't stop them. But next turn, next time they do it, I can uh, Bajookabog them. What are my other utility lands? Yep, there's Loam. Loam for Wasteland. Um, I do have that Sanctuary that I can... Uh, Grab something back with. There's your cat. If I get a Sajiri step off the top, though, and you just give this pro white, just mm, beautiful. I can't sank. Yeah, not enough islands. So that's not useful. Plus, the only thing I can get back are like. An abrupt decay, which no longer deals with it. <gasps> Ooh, almost. Um, do we want to turn these into one ones? I don't think it matters. Um, brainstorm is what I want. That gets me the. Uh, lets me see one more card, so I need that. In worst case scenario, I end up with the. Uh, uh, there. Yeah, we're main phase brainstorming. Boop. Starfield of Nyx. Interesting. Uh, let's put that back, then that back. Um, play the Plague Engineer. Um, I think we need Beast. They might run other Beasts. I don't think they run other cats, though. So, yeah. Beast. Put those down to 1-1s, one uh, and then we're going to yield through the turn. And then on their end step, we're going to start knighting... Um, no attacks. Um, we're going to knight to uh, combo kill with Merit Lage. Uh, yield until end step. Okay. We can still Thespian Stage Dark Depths them. Stage is two tap. Yeah, we've got enough mana to do that. Um, even though we're going to get... The problem is, like, I can't attack with the knight and have steps. <laughs> uh, and get steps. Unless I top deck steps. Oh, I could for the Oh, I could for the Plague Engineer. There we go. Uh, now I can't because I have a Tarmogoyf. But I could before. <laughs> Just saw a comment on Reddit uh, on my deck on the stream. This is awful. I love it. I'm like, perfectly encapsulates uh, my thoughts as well. Okay, pumping them all. Um, yeah, we go for Merit Lage now. Sack the forest that he can already blow up with the Wasteland. Uh, grab. Come on, get big. Get big. Dark Depths. Well, that was dumb. Okay. If I did that with the Thespian stage anyway, the same thing would have happened. Um, Living Wish, Therapy. 
living wish. What can I wish for? Ruckus doesn't help me. Um, a rector can help me. Uh, I'm too short on mana to cast it, though, so... I still think I go with a uh, living wish up top. Uh, bop, bop, bop. It has the, t has the him, though. That's what's going to be interesting. Um, like seven, seven. Ah, crap. Uh, if I do this, uh, I can next turn cast whichever rector I get. Uh, the rector I'm going to get is the enchantment rector because I have enough instant win enchantments. Uh, yield through turn. No attacks. Yield through the turn, because I need to use... Well, actually... Um, I'll undo the yield if they attack. Um, because I can, if Tarmogoyf gets bigger to be like a 7-8, I can block, crack that forest into another forest and have an 8-8 to trade. Yeah, time is what's going to kill me here. Oh, man. Him gets rid of that. Yep. That is the right choice on their part. Because now we're kind of at a stalemate. Yep, um, I know what my top two cards are, right? I haven't searched. So I definitely knight for something anyway. Um, is there life? Their life from the loam is in the yard right now. So I think I'm actually going to knight for a bajuka bog to just blow that up. But then I'm out of forests. Crap. Well, I have astrolabe. So I should be fine on mana. I just won't be able to knight for anything. Well, I forgot to yield till end of turn. I did that instead. Um, let's go that, that, that. Um, gonna therapy them. Um, and let's name life from the loam. Nope, it's a Zusa lost but seeking. All right, yield through turn. Um, uh, yield, oh wait, yield through turn, yep, crap. 45 seconds, come on, get it together. Uh, yield until end step, oh crap. Uh, nope, 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 uh, turn off auto yields. I need to bog them. Might be too late. Library's on the stack. Misplays due to time. <gasps> Good, they didn't do it. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, we're gonna do it now, even though it means I'm gonna get hit. Bog, 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 bajuka bog. Hit them. Oh, come on. I have to click on the actual trigger, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Azusa in hand, cat beasts. I think it's, uh, uh I think I'm just gonna concede here. I, I don't think I can eke out a win with 18 seconds of play time. Uh, eight, nine, and a three, four. 
<gasps> oh, I could win. I could win. I could still win. So here's the thing. I don't block either of these. I go to two. I have to see a land that I can sack to Knight of the Reliquary in my top three with Miri's Guile. I need to draw that, play it, turn it into a Sajiri step, give pro green, and swing in for the win. Yes, use the ability. <gasps> or I just top deck the Sajiri step. No, no, crap, I did it wrong. Ah, uh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I've got it. No, I did it wrong. Fuck. Ah. Uh... Oh, I panicked. It was there. It was there. Uh, oh, they're vigilant. I didn't realize. Yep. <laughs> I got excited for nothing. <laughs> Turns out reading the card explains the cards. Uh, thanks for sticking with me, folks. <laughs> it's been, uh, been a long day. This deck is uh, more mentally taxing than it's worth. <laughs> Probably. <sighs> okay, it's. I put this jacket on. Um, not sponsored by Card Kingdom, but I will say um, not only do they have good cards, woo, they also make a very nice jacket. Uh, it is very warm, which is why I put it on initially, but now. The stress is getting to me, and I have warmed myself up quite nicely. <sighs> All right. I'm glad this is fun to watch. This is fun to play, too. All right. Dusty H. All right. We have a Titala Sculler, a Crop Rotation, a Deed, a Swords, and three lands. One of which is a fetch. This is a very keepable hand. Um, we'll start with catacombs and hopefully get something to scullar them. Um, we're on the draw. This is even better. Yield through the end of the turn. Whew. Okay. Catacombs. Um, do we turn one Thoughtseize? Let's turn one Thoughtseize. Why the heck not? Make hand bigger. Ah! Yes. Yes, I can, apparently. Um, we grab the Scrubland here. Brainstorm response, yep. Okay. That is that is as big as the hand gets. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> I just got commented on by Yo Mama Bot. Oh, Omni. Oh. Okay, show and tell. What am I more worried about? I think I hit the Gristlebrand and then I tuck, hopefully next turn, tuck the Tide Hollow Sculler, tuck Omni underneath. They have City of Traders, so they probably have a show and tell up top. Um, they also have Days. Eh. Um, I think. I think I get rid of the omniscience, let them have the rest, and then I plow the uh, um, plow the gristle brand if it comes down, because I can put in a trop and crop rotate the trop, crop the trop. Um, yeah, omni goes away. Oh, hello, kitty. My my cat might come visit. Okay. Yep, they got it. Show and tell. Okay. 
put in the trop. Problem is, this is like kind of all in right now. Um, if they're not going to gristle brand now, I'm just going to not crop rotate and swords. I'm just going to swords on my turn because I know they have days. Um, so there's the gristle brand gone. There's the city of traders gone. Yeah, that leaves them with land, land, days. Um, so yeah, this lets me have mana up for the days. Mm-hmm. Apparently I have another thought cease too. Bye-bye, <laughs> grizzly bees. Of course, they can draw a whole bunch of cards to try to, like, find something that'll answer this. So it's not a foregone conclusion that this is uh, going to exile the Gristle brand. Ooh, nothing in the top seven. Digging for another. Did I get it? Did I get it? Hello? Do you want to hop on up? There's the force of will. Um, do I have a response to this that's worth casting? What they exile? Ponder, okay. My cat is just off screen over there. I'll move the camera in a sec. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, show and tell. Or if I show and tell, take Gristle Brand, then like they omniscience into hopefully nothing. The problem is I don't have any clean answer to omniscience once it's out. I do have answers to Gristle Brand, better answers to Gristle Brand. Um, it's a higher risk play, but would have been super sweet here. Um, not worth it to rotate into anything at the moment, so that's fine. Um, yield through the turn. Burnt a lot of time thinking there when I really didn't have a play. Oh, good. We moved on to mouth pressure. Okay, back to like more normal music. Okay. Back here, here. Brainstorm is good. Oops. Um, yield till the end step. Whew. I still don't quite have a way to kill me. Then again, I don't have a way to kill this Gristle Brand, so a little bit at an impasse here. Sadly, I don't have Maze of Ith in here, otherwise I could crop rotate for Maze of Ith. Wait, do I have Maze of Ith? One sec. I might have been smart enough to put a Maze of Ith in. I was not smart enough to include a Maze of Ith. Note to self, add a Maze of Ith. It's a 250 card deck. It's it is so surprising how little room there is in a 250 card deck. <laughs> By the way, let's see if I can get her on camera. There's my cat Nimbus. Nimbus. Yeah, there she is. She's a very fluffy and nice cat. Anyways, uh, back like there we go, and there's Emrakul. Uh, we can see it now. Yep. Oh wait, no, no, that was that was not them casting it. Either way, I don't think we had a way out of that uh, anytime soon. Um, let's put that energy towards the next game. They didn't use any graveyard shenanigans. Uh, all of that is fine. Can't really, uh, oh, here we go. Gotta trash out and watch out. 
I've got a transformative sideboard. <laughs> yeah, my 15 card transform uh, transformative sideboard for my 250 card deck. <clears throat> Best thing though about playing against show and tell is I have a lot of fantastic cards against show and tell. I've once show and tell in an overwhelming splendor, which is just uh, the bee's knees. Um, putting in my own omniscience would also be fun. <laughs> Opponent wrote back, I can imagine, lol, side out the battle of wits. <sighs> uh, uh, but no, lots of good things I could cast. Um... That I can put in in a, in response or with a show and tell that would be uh, bad news bears for them. I would like to play first, yes. Show off the Yorion, just in case. Um, okay, Caracas is very good. Um, oh, that's what I could have crop rotated for. Dang it, crop rotated for Caracas. God, this deck is so huge; it's hard to keep track of. This is a fine hand. Um, I can library uh, turn two, so that's the plan. If they want to put anything in, I will put in a siege rhino. Oh, come on, are you really turn one-ing me? Ugh, I'm getting turn one show and tell. So the question is, do I put in the Caracas? I put in the Caracas. Yeah! Bye, Emmy. <laughs> Whew. That was close. And now I have another land to cast a Sylvan Library and keep up the Caracas. Whew. Clutch. Uh, yield through the turn. Can't cast these because I don't have a black source yet. Living Wish could solve that. We'll see. Uh, I can just yield through and then undo the yield if I need to. Whew. Real glad I put that Caracas in. <laughs> but now I know that they've got an Emrakul, and I need to remember that. Um, notepad. They have Emrakul in hand. I'm just going to put this over on my side screen to look at. Um, okay, library time. Oh, I have an Arena Rector now. Um, oh, I need to... Always yield, always yes. Yes. Hmm. Let's put... Um, I want a living wish for a sack outlet. So... Snip tool might be better, but I missed my opportunity. Um, we can put the path back for now. Um, and any amount of life under, uh, 20 is still fine. Um, keep the peatland. No, because my land drop is going to come from my living wish here. Okay. Living wish. Because then I can get the peatland, play with the four... Uh, and then drop with this Phyrexian Tower. Uh, yield through turn. And then I will have a big bad burly planeswalker of some sort. Yeah, I probably should have paid the four. The thing is, I don't need it now. Uh, yield through the turn. Sneak attack. Oh boy. 
Yikes. Um, okay, let's go. So I definitely still need to keep the path. Oh, path and cabal. Oh, okay, so I need to pay four to keep. I need to pay eight to keep all of these. Because um, I'm going to use the double black from sacking the arena rector to get the emrakul out of their hand. Um, and I'll keep the path for backup, but will I have enough mana for it? Yes, I'll keep Path for backup for a non-legendary, because I can cast off Caracas. So you go on top of Library, you I pay four to keep. That's the one that I drew. I messed it up, I needed all of those cards. Um, how can I salvage this for my misplay? Like this. This is how I salvage that. Okay, let's just uh let's just uh track that punt. Um I'm recall the Aeon's torn. <laughs> Days Ponder Pyroblast. Cool. Okay. There goes the Emrakul. Yes, you get to shuffle it back in. Nifty. Um, and then I can put down a Pernicious Deed to threaten the sneak attack. Daze me. Come on, daze me. Yeah, recovered from the punt. It's still a punt. <sighs> Pay one? No. I would much rather Path to Exile um, or bounce whatever they put in with Sneak Attack. So there's, there goes the Ponder. They just have a Pyroblast and whatever they drew for turn. She's into Shuffle. Excellent. You love to see it. Brainstorm, okay. I love that they definitely brought the Pyroblast in specifically because they know I am a uh, uh, a Battle of Wits deck, and so they're putting it in to just blow up my Battle of Wits, which is just uh, a A-plus move on their part, because it's actually a pain in the butt card to deal with. Okay, they don't have Emrakul in hand. I can get rid of my text file there. Okay, Petal. Call that. We've made it past combat. We're in the clear for now. Okay, library time. I need to keep at least one land. I needed to keep everything last time. Um, the peat land will go back on top. I want to save my life for Sylvan Library Ying. Um, Tide Hollow Sculler. It Hide Hollow Sculler can go on top. I'll get you next time. Play my land. Bup, 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 bup. Arena Rector. Come on, don't have counter magic. So with Arena Rector. I can get Karn or uh, something else. One of the my, one of my other Planeswalkers can help close out the game. One of the big expensive ones. Probably Bolas. A hey, Force of Will. Pitching a Brainstorm. Those were the two cards in hand. Um, the Force is good. Uh, yield through the turn. Yield through, uh, yield through this whole turn, too. Hope you didn't top deck anything with sneak attack, because I know one of those cards is a pyroblast and the other is not. Sweet. Um, I need a white source and a black source and tight hollow sculler. I am paying the eight. Um, I think though they're locked. They would have gone for the sneak attack sooner anyway. 
So Tide Hollow Sculler will eat the Pyroblast, probably. Um, I can't risk not having Path to Exile or Caracas up. Um, so we just play the Peatland and pass through the turn. Because then next turn I can see Drino or Sculler. Ugh, probably Rhino. And step, so the Pyroblast is back in hand. Okay, Sanctuary and, ooh, an Assassin's Trophy. Oh, yes, an Assassin's Trophy. Okay, you can go back. I don't need you. Savannah. I'd rather have you than the planes, but I don't need you because I have the planes. Uh, play my planes. Um, is it Rhino time? I think it's Rhino time. Because then, if, worst case scenario, I sack the Rhino to blow that up. Um, rhino time. Absolute all-star of the deck. Siege Rhino. Always yield to. Oh, I can flashback my Cabal Therapy now. Cool. Not going to do that. Uh, yield through the turn. So I can path and I can Assassin's Trophy something. They are drawing into new cards now. And still have nothing. Excellent. On my turn, I will sculler them and see what they've got. Vras Queen. Ooh. Do I keep the four? Take the four for that? Um, no, because I'm using my black for the sculler this turn. Um, so we'll put that on top, followed by that, not take any damage, play the savannah, go to combat, <clears throat> attack with the rhino. White and black and a life for a tight hollow sculler. Okay, let's eat their hand. What do we got? A Pyroblast and two somethings. Pyroblast double sneak attack. Oh. We're going to take the Pyroblast here? <laughs> They've got double sneak attack. Man, I really want to Cabal Therapy them right now. I can wait. Uh, yield through the turn. So I can swing for six on the next turn. Um, you can go back up top, um, and Vras Queen can go back on top as well. I want the Quaddle that'll draw me into the Vras Queen. Swing, swing. They drew a land, so I know they still have just double sneak attack in hand. Um, let's hold the hand like this and see what they get. Ooh, they are activating the sneak attack. Okay. What do they have? They have Emrakul. They're going to go to combat. And if I go to combat and I bounce it here, I think I'm good still. Because I don't think they'll be able to put it back in and still declare. Oh, they can put it back in and still declare it as an attacker. Crap. I messed up. Um, undo. Um, I still think I'm okay. Remember, cool, we'll deal. Oh, 15. I'm. Wait, 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 wait. Um, okay, let's see. Does Ember Cool have trample? Is the question. <laughs> Can't be countered. Uh, pressure for colored spells. Flying. I can chump block it with my Ice Fang Kawaddle. Mm. Okay. Um, 
So yes, let's go declare your attack. I can't sack the Tide Hollow Sculler because that's bad. Um, in response, flashing in a Coatl that I can hopefully keep Death Touch on. I can keep Death Touch on it even better. Um, okay, I draw the card. Okay. Okay, activate any other ability. Sack six permanents. Peatland, Tower, uh, Rhino. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Okay, keep the Sculler so I can do that. Yeah, that touch doesn't matter. Okay. Jump block. It was going to die at end of turn anyway. It just died a little bit sooner. Yeah, I could have avoided that by Assassin's Trophying before, uh, then bouncing. That would have been smarter. All right. It's okay. Now, this time, they on the next game, they won't know I'm so smart. Come on. Let me attack. You have nothing in hand, and I know it. <laughs> Sideboarding. Nothing to board here. We're good. Game three. Oh. Probably should have put a punt in for missing the uh, abrupt decay. It's a lot of punts so far. Oh. Also makes up for game one when I should have known to crop rotate for the Caracas to save myself. That would have uh, would have done it. Um, not enough lands. So this is going to be a mulligan. They're starting with seven. Not a fan of that. Um, okay, we've got an abrupt decay and a scooze and a whole crap ton of lands. This is probably as good of a hand as we want. Like, I don't have anything that'll answer it other than um, an abrupt decay, which isn't going to even kill anything. No, I gotta go for the five. Uh, Astrolabe, I can't play. Green Sun for one. Uh, finale for uh, for none, for none. A Knight that I can put in. A Pulse to blow things up. A Path to blow things up. This is about as good as it'll get with five. Um, so the finale can go. It's like worse Green Sun Zenith. Um, and the Maelstrom Pulse. Or the astrolabe. Mm. I think the astrolabe goes. Yeah, astrolabe will go. I would much rather have the pulse to be able to build up to and cast that. Here's the part where I top deck a snow source. Nope, but close enough. Um, let's start the ramp. <sighs> oh, whoa. Better than the rest. All right, now you're brainstorming. See how they storm with their brain.
Oh, rude. Rude. What a rude dude. Welcome. Let's make sure there's no one in here conspicuously similarly named to uh, Rusty H. Okay, good. Mystic Sanctuary. When enters the battlefield untapped, I can, sur I can put a thing on top. Well, that's not happening, but I'm also not missing a land drop, so... I'm just gonna keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on moving. Do I run two of those? I feel like I should. I do run two of those. Alright, it's show-and-tell time. Um, I think Night of Autumn is the choice, uh, because if they put in Omniscience, then they don't put in Omniscience. They put in omniscience, so they don't put in omniscience. <laughs> Got him. <'em. laughs> oh, this is great. You know, I can still hear you over there giggling. <laughs> I know, I'm excited. My wife is playing uh, Among Us with a bunch of our friends. And... They can hear me through her microphone shouting exuberantly at my uh, beautiful Night of Autumn play here. Oh, apparently all they heard was got em, which is correct. They are them, and they were got. All right, the Night of Autumn beats begin. Tis the night of autumn beats. <laughs> oh. ah. Okay, no blocks, Obvi. Get in. Play the stronghold. Yield for turn? Because I can't cast any of these things. <laughs> <laughs> my opponent's like 250 card deck and always have the exact answer lol just my luck and I'm like turns out I just have a lot of things that are good versus show and tell which is true uh, an e-wit that I can't cast yet Nine turn clock. Let's go. Awesome. We're still alive for 3 2 the dream. The uh, get your money back to play again another day, the dream. Cat. Cat. My cat is now sleeping. In case anyone wanted cat update. Okay. There goes the city. Yup. Oh, it's another one. I don't have anything that'll stop this necessarily. However... I don't think I put in the deed because deed I won't have enough mana to pop it. I think I put in Ewit to get back um, Green Sun Zenith. Yeah, Ewit for GSC. Ooh, they put in. They uh, okay. They show and telled in a sneak attack. Have I actually gotten a Battle of Wits win yet? No, I haven't seen one all night. Oh, I saw one once, but I had to mulligan it away because I had no lands. 
Oh, uh, it's real scary. Um, yep, yep, yep. Sorry. Go ahead. Bring me back the zenith. Zenith for two. If I can top deck another land, I can zenith for another Knight of Autumn and blow that up. Um, that was one of those times where I wish I had a Kasali Pride Mage. Oh, yes, use the ability. Crap. Wasting my time on not reading what's going on. Sneaking and attacking. What do we got? Th that's my whole board. Um. Well then. <laughs> I'll be at five. They have sneak attack. And two lands. Boop, 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 boop. I can rebuild with Green Sun Zenith, kind of. <sighs> Spread it like a beer about a jelly. Another deed. Cool. So now it's just on, can they top deck another creature? Or can I top deck a land? Specifically one that can tap for green. Hey! Uh, any life that's more than zero still counts. So... We're going to try and green sun for zero and see what happens. If they counter it, they counter it. Good. They didn't counter it. Uh, yield through the turn. Yield through the turn. I do need other lands because I have four more times I can tap this waterlogged grove. Well, I'm not ever going to be able to draw more cards with Sylvan Library as it currently stands, so that'll be a thing. Yield through their turn. Oh, bye cat. Um, draw a step. Okay, so I need to always yield. Always yes. Said always yes. <gasps> a land! Um, so we're going to put that away because I can't cast it and that will hurt me to cast it right now so that goes away. Then I'm gonna play this. I don't think I put the deed down. I could Maelstrom Pulse the sneak attack. Is that worth one life? Yes. Uh, black, green, sure. Pulse the sneak attack. And if it gets countered, it gets countered. Um, they're fetching. Oh, they can hard cast force. Oh, no, just fetching and let it go. Okay. I'm at two. You'll take the turn. So that's a dead card in the hand right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Munitions cost ten. <laughs> We're getting into hard cast omniscience territory, and that is scary. <laughs> yeah. Um, why did I said always yes? Yes. <gasps> Ooh. Can't rector yet. I don't have any white source. Put on top. Put on top. Um. No attacks. We're going to main step brainstorm. Oh, ooh, excellent. Um, we can put different things on top. So we're going to put... Um, they don't have hand disruption. But we can get rid of that thought seize because... Be gone, thought seize. Um, and a spare deed. Why not? And then here's a bird. 
Now I just need to end up finding a sack outlet um, because I have Academy Rector and I can try to get something to happen. I probably won't actually go for the Battle of Wits win um, simply because I know that they run um, they run Pyroblasts and Red Elemental Blasts. There's the other th sneak attack. Cool. I know you still don't have any threats in hand. It's still fine. Um, Thought Seize goes away. Bring to light. Costs five. I can't do that, but I'll hold on to it for now. Oh boy. Um, I think I pay the life to cast the Rector. Um, that's worth it. Um, no, I threaten the deed. Um... Threaten with Deed is my best option here. Uh, yield through the turn. Because next turn I could blow up the sneak attack. Yeah, I don't know. I need. I want something else that I can cast Academy Rector and not go down to one, because as soon as I do that, that's the last time I can use the Waterlogged Grove other than to draw a card. Oh. Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it. Ugh. Should have jammed the Rector. Um, go away. Hey, a second Rector. Um, go away. Yield through turn. Ugh. So close. Hey, another bird. Uh, on the top, on the top. Ah, oh, crap. I have to pay life for this bird. Um, It's worth it. Pay life for the bird, and then I can draw through with the grove next turn. We're going to see. Is he going to force the bird? He's going to force the bird. <laughs> That's no bolt. <laughs> Uh, yield through the turn. Yep. Oh no. Uh, oh, that's just shuffling away stuff. Okay. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One mana away from omnisciencing me. Ooh, Miri's Guile, which is useless to me. Thoughtseize, which is more useless. Um, so we'll do that. Um, that Waterlogged Grove is pretty much dead to me, so... Let's just draw the card. And yield through the turn. Let's just get it out of there while we can. I'm not going to bluff a deed for one when everything that it would kill is also deed for zero. Ooh, vet and brainstorm. Um, so you go back, and I think the vet goes back, because then I brainstorm and hope to hit a land and vet. Come on. Green land and vet. Days. Yep. Yield through turn. Uh, no on days. So polite that it asks, even though I can't pay. Hey, there's Overwhelming Splendor, which is actually, I definitely want that in my hand. Like, no joke. Discard to hand size. Death by clock. Oh my gosh. Hey, there we go. Um, look at me and my having another land. It's not over yet. 
but it's it's real dang close. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They've got ten. Hardcast Omni incoming. Oh, they are missing the Omni. Um, get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that, I guess, as well. Cast that and yield through the turn. Just gotta find Omni, lol. <laughs> and there's the force. Yep. Two, three, four. Hey, there it is. Well done, opponent. Well done. Uh, that goes. That goes. It goes. Human. Okay. Uh, yield through this turn. I have a chance still. Because now next turn I can drop a Rector that they can't counter. And then the turn after that I can deed for four. And blow up everything but the Omniscience and get the Rector trigger. <laughs> and then I just start putting curses on them until they die. <laughs> uh, put on top. Put on top. Put out an island. Cast the Rector with Uncounterable White. Yield through the turn. <sighs> this goes south. I still have other Rector. Uh, this this track is uh, Synthesizer um, by Tupperware Remix Party. Huge fan of the band. Uh, yield through the turn. We can also do um, song, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, shut up, stream elements. I know you can't get the current song because I'm not using you for that. <laughs> no! Wait! Wait! On to. Do I have something that can stop Emrakul that's an enchantment? I can turn it into... Oh, I can't turn it into 1-1. One, one. My overrolling splendor's in hand. Okay. Come at me. Um, cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Academy Rector Trigger. Let's find my options. Yes. Um, my own omniscience. Oh, <gasps> my own omniscience. Oh, he's pa ah, dang it! I can't path him. Um, curse of misfortunes. Curse of deathhold. Cruel reality is too slow. Battle of wits. I'll just put out the battle of wits. I think. I think so. Uh, Starfield. Don't control five or more enchantments. Well, leap won't do anything. I can make it minus one, minus one. Uh, yeah, let's flex. We'll get the Battle of Wits. Got to reveal the hand. Huh. 
<sighs> All right. Two more matches. Why the heck not? I'll play at least one more. If I go like no, if I go like zero and four, I'll definitely drop from the league, because <laughs> then there's nothing to go uh, zero and five. But so long as I can win something, I'll stay in it. Um. Okay. Uh, turn one green sun for nothing into a lot of two drops and brainstorm neo form thrag tusk risky keep but i'm going to keep that might be the booze talking we'll get a trop best part is they're going to think i'm on elves with this opener Trop. Green sun for zero. I wonder what I'm going to get. Heal through the turn. It's a sneak and show again. Oh my gosh, really? Really? It's a storm? What the heck? What the what? <laughs> Alright, prepare to get Thrag Tusked. Hey! Welcome aboard, viewers of the Legacy Pit! <laughs> you have turned in, tuned in, to some maximum level jank. <laughs> um, oh... So I am playing a deck that is called Battle of Fits. It is a 250 card Nick Fit deck. <laughs> um, and apparently I'm up against uh, Emery Urza Karn combo. <laughs> oh man, of all the times, this is gonna be great. Um, oh, an Echo of you! Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. I'm so dead. All right, and now it's my turn. <laughs> okay, uh, six cards in hand. They've got a tomb. They've got emery. Nothing in the yard. They've got draw. One draw off of the bobble. Uh, and that'll put them eight cards. Eight cards to find six mana to mycosynth lock me. Um... What are my best routes around that is I think I drop the planes and a soul herder. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> when you have no good options, a play is better than nothing. <laughs> yep. Okay. Bobble me all you want. Um, Oh man. So the way this deck is supposed to work is I've got Academy Erectors in here and it's just kind of like a, a Nick Fit deck on uh, on steroids. I have a, an overlay right here with the uh, um, with the deck list and also you can find it at that Scryfall link I just put in chat. Um, if you like spicy meme decks like this, uh, I have a YouTube channel called youtube.com slash... You can find it at youtube.com slash fringeworthy um, where I do deck techs on weird decks and at some point... I will do one on this now that I've actually gotten to play it a couple times. And to answer the inevitable question of why am I playing a Battle of Wits Nick Fit deck in Legacy right now, um, it's because they, uh, the Eternal Weekend is coming up, um, and I paid for an entrance into that, and that lets me have every card. Um, so I am going to use every card. <laughs> oh, I don't have my YouTube channel linking there. I need a youtube.com slash fringeworthy bam there's your youtube link <laughs> yeah bobble me uh, I can yield through this turn okay eight cards in hand we've got to find four more mana to be able to lattice lock me um it's totally doable. They had the the nuts like triple petal opening, <laughs> um, 
So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Good news for me though is next turn I do get to drop down an arena rector, and as soon as I can let that die, or actually a questing beast. Questing beast might be the better cho uh, choice here uh, to just be able to kill Karn. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I also have Twitter, which I use. 90% of the time to tweet when I'm going live on Twitch or when I have a new video. <laughs> uh, I do not Twitter much. Uh, anyways, uh, I think the questing beast is going to be better because I can get in and kill Karn. And I don't think there's anything other than a Karn struct that will be able to block and, uh, well, be able to block the questing beast. So um, that's probably the better choice. The fact that they're taking so long makes me think they either have complicated math or they don't have a way to lattice lock me this turn, which is good. Chalice on one. Okay. This feels a lot better. <laughs> this feels a lot, a lot better. Yeah, if I find, like, I don't have any sack outlets uh, available to me right now, because if I did, then the arena rector would definitely come down. Um... Yep, ticking up. Bring back the bauble. Yep. Bring it on. Of course, there's my overwhelming splendor. All right. Um, questing beast is the uh, play du jour. That'll perfectly kill Karn and hit for four. No blocks possible. Um, heck, we can swing a soul herder too. Um, attack on both. Cool, right? Yeah, okay. I have to remember, Questing Beast is just like a block of text. <laughs> uh, declare blocker is cool. Combat damage trigger. Karn's the only option. Cool. Yield through turn. Oh, I get to actually pick. Um, yeah, we're going to flicker the Dried Arbor. Uh, yes. Behold my bigger soul herder. <laughs> Why does why do the questing beast have so much text? <laughs> and there's Urza. Three three construct. Um Okay, one, two, three mana available. Can they infinite combo? No, not yet. They need a paradox engine for that too. I have a version of this deck that uses Urza and Paradox Engine to do uh, an infinite looping combo um, to just get arbitrarily large amounts of mana. It's a lot of fun. Um, it is hell to play online, which is why I'm not playing it online. Um, don't get me wrong, it's not great to play in paper either because you need a shadow run amount of D6s. Um, so it's, uh, it's not an easy task. Um, okay, they get to bobble. What did they hit in the yard? They got a Lion's Eye Diamond. That can be problematic. So the Karnstruct can block, uh, Urza can't, Emery can't. Um, so the Questing Beast will definitely swing in. And I'm going to Bajuka Bog them to get that LED out of there because I do not want them uh, with access to an LED with Emery. That's way too strong for them with the uh, Echo of Eons list that they're going with. Eon echoing. Not on my watch. You'll pay for your time twisters in full, thank you very much. Uh, by the way, if anyone wants to request songs, you can do that by typing exclamation SR in the chat and then either a YouTube link or the name of the song uh, and it will uh, queue it up. Currently it's just a, a mix that I've got going, but feel free to uh, toss anything into it. Um, yeah. Um, as you may be guessed by the title, I am practicing up for the Eternal Weekend. Uh, I'll be playing on Sunday, just because that's the day that works best with my schedule. Um, probably won't be playing this deck. I'll probably be playing... Um, a list that is still a Nick fit list, um, but is, yes, um, it's a Nick fit list, but it's based around uh, Neoform and Confounding Conundrum. Um, so that's going to be fun. I think it's in a, like, relatively speaking, is a decently placed meta pick. 
Um, it hates a lot on Oko decks and um, <clears throat> on a lot of uh, fair decks, and it's got a lot of uh, silver bullets to fight combo decks with uh, Neoform. So those two powers combined make a somewhat decent uh, legacy deck. Hey, thank you, SSA. 00109A for the follow. I very much appreciate it. I have just now passed 50 followers, which means hopefully Twitch unlocks new abilities for me, like saving videos. <laughs> like, I get why they lock it behind having a certain number of people um, as followers, because uh, video storage is expensive. Um, but it's very annoying that uh, uh, I did not have video storage until now. All right, let's see. Do I get in for four? I get in for four. Um, and then we Rector. Uh, and we go uh, Soul Herder on Dryad Arbor. Yes. Yield through the turn. Yes. Uh, yield through the turn. I don't have anything. Okay. <laughs> I mean, electrons are cheap in small amounts. That's my philosophy whenever I'm like taking pictures. Like, be warned, if you see me in public and you're like, hey, will you take a picture of me? I will take 20 pictures and let you pick the best one for two reasons. One, electrons are cheap. And two, I am shit at taking pictures. <laughs> so I go for quantity since I can't go for quality. <laughs> okay, there's a Karn. Uh, still short on mana. What are you getting? Gets an Ensnaring Bridge. Okay. Ensnaring Bridge to buy time. One, two, three mana for that. Okay. There's the Ensnaring Bridge with four cards in hand, though. Questing Beast is a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> How long is my mix? Uh, my mix is set so that anything you queue up will go in first. The difference between a pro and an amateur photographer is how many pictures they take per second. <laughs> Uh, I have a friend who's a professional photographer. Um, it's kind of true. A little bit. Um, okay, let's see. I think if I attack in with the Questing Beast and the Soul Herder, the Construct has to block the Questing Beast and they trade, and Soul Herder has to either be chumped by Urza or Emery. What I'm thinking, though, is I brainstorm, and if I find a sack outlet for the Arena Rector, I can just win that way. Oh, there's a Chalice on one. <laughs> uh, all right. Combat it is. <laughs> Oakley dokley. Um, we'll swing in and take the trade. Nothing can kill the Arena Rector, but... With two out there, I can get them to one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I have to attack all out. Um, I still don't think I can win here, though. Let's see. They could still misplay this. Yes! <laughs> Excellent choice of song, Lee. <laughs> okay, keeping that alive, keeping that alive. Chumping that, taking the one. Yep. Okay, they're at one, and they're going to... Okay, we're going to... Uh... Yes, use the ability. Okay. Oh, I hit no. Crap. Pedal, one, two, three, so one, two, yeah, they've got enough. Um, I'm getting latticed, I think. Oh, interesting. Going for the other Urza. Why? <gasps> they can't because of the tomb! Ha-ha! Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. Ooh, Narset, okay. Oh, I should have gotten Yorion. I I have never played Yorion. Like, I have never uh, gotten it at all. 
in this deck. Uh, for three, yeah. All right, what artifact are you getting? Got the bridge and the LED last time. Are they just now realizing that they uh, that they could have gotten? Oh, they're getting liquid metal coating. Okay, so land destruction. Or just preventing abilities with Karn and liquid metal. Okay. Um. One card in hand, so I can't attack under bridge except with the Arena Rector right now. Um, Yorion would be good. Liquid Meddling, the Island. That's fine. Catacombs. Um, so, one, two, three. Yeah, I think I just get Yorion. Um, green, green. Bog. Let's keep the white up. Um, and play a Tundra. Um, yeah, so land destruction is in my near future here. Um, I, get your own. Um, I do have another Dryad. Um, Rector just bounces off your Urza. Yeah, I'm not going to swing in with the Rector here. Um, no attacks. Yield through the turn. Um... I'm going to, yes, use the ability, though. I would have, like, essentially Vigilance, but... Yeah. Um, fetching may have been better. Um, I want to keep that in case I top-deck something that I need to color fix for. Um, that's my only, uh, only thought there. All right, companion area can close. This can go away. Let's see. Let's see. The Verdant Catacombs to have two one-one attackers would have been good. Um, catches. They'll have an extra construct up. Um, and well, just can't be have it activated abilities. Okay. Verdant Catacombs was probably the better play to fetch for, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, if I top deck into something that would have been useful, um, then it wasn't. But if I don't, it's, it's better than nothing. I can keep it as an option for uh, next turn, though. I'm not completely locked out of it, let's put it that way. Uh, for once, though, I'm up on the clock. I'm not used to playing on Magic Online. I'm, I'm used to playing in paper. Okay, blowing up the Tundra is the name of the game now. Okay. I have nothing I could do with that mana right now anyway. Another Narset. Cool. You forgot to use the first one, bud. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> LED, is it Echo of Eon's time? I'm betting it won't be, considering, oh, yep, it is. Sure, you can have a full grip of seven with your ensnaring bridge out. Yeah, I'll be fine with just my scoos. Like... This would be, this should be fine. Oh, they're dropping down to four cards in hand. Okay. This is becoming less fine. <laughs> new Urza for a new construct. Yep, nine nines. Thing is, they can't attack in. So if they attack in, I go get Ugin and I bolt them for three to win. Like, we're at a stalemate until they can figure out some way to get rid of the triggered ability on my Arena Rector. Until that happens, I'm not out of this. 
and I can still win. I don't know if they run any exile effects. Chalice on two. Chalice on two. One and two. So this scooze is now useless to me. Okay. <laughs> Double scoos. Um, I think I healed through the turn. <laughs> um, yeah, there's nothing I can really do here. Like, I can attack and see if they do a dumb thing or if they just block and it bounces off. Um, I think their other play must be like get enough constructs that they can just kill me in one hit. Um, yeah, let's try to attack Karn with a, the Arena Rector. It has pseudo vigilance because I have a Soul Herder. Oh, they didn't block. Cool. I did not put this song on. Uh, that's a yes to untap the rector. Well, I was able to take Karn down to one, so that's something. <sighs> Lee. It's not even Friday. This song is an hour and 40 minutes ahead of time. <laughs> Please respect the laws of time. <laughs> okay, sorry. East Coasters. Okay, this one's for the East Coasters and the Midwesterners. <laughs> I am I am looking forward to the weekend, Rebecca Black. You're you're correct. I can just uh yield through this turn. Fun, 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 fun. Ooh, Psy Master Thopterist, cast an artifact spell, create a Thopter, sack two artifacts, draw a card. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. What do we have? Okay. Goodbye, planes. New Narset by old Narset. Remember to, they remember to activate it twice now. So um, that's good. They're learning. Uh, they have an Echo of Eons again. Which again, I'm really not worried about anything. Like, they have to get their constructs up to like 2020s or 1919s to have lethal here. So I'm really not too worried. Hardcast Echo of Eons. Ooh, a tireless tracker. That'll be nice. Extra blocker is good. I mean, I can't sack the clue tokens, but extra blocker is good. <laughs> there goes one Mopal. Bobble, Thopters. The Thopters are going to be a problem, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and they have Bridge! Oh, man, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, they have to win by Thoptering. Thop, Thop. Oh, and now I have nothing. Rude. There's the LED. <sighs> Let's just sit here. And, uh... Hope I top deck a green sun zenith. Um, Cause top decking a green sun zenith would be great. Cause then I can green sun zenith for two and get a collector oof and then really just laugh at them. That'd be great. Uh, top decking a Phyrexian tower would also be good. Um, that'd be a way to win. So how are you guys all doing? Um, just uh, watching my opponent play uh, <laughs> play some uh, solitaire here. That said, I am absolutely adoring the deck that they're playing. Oh, hello, Dreadwhale. <laughs> I think that's Dreadwhale, right? Okay, Snow Covered Island. They blew up my Snow Covered Island. Okay.
Another emery. What does emery put in the yard? Cool. Drop. Okay. Bobbling me. <laughs> Going to attack his life and hope that he makes a mistake. By either not blocking. Okay. I can kill a thopter. It's going to lessen the bleeding. Use the ability. Untap me, my arena rector. And soul herder can get swole. It's my swole herder. <laughs> See, lantern control was different, though. Mostly because um, lantern control... Oh, okay, no, this is it's pretty similar. Like you'd get locked out of being able to play anything. Whereas here, like, I still have a chance to top deck something good. Um, and I have a few outs right here, to be completely honest. Um, I can green sun for three still. Um, yeah, also, yeah, faster clock. Um, and it's my own fault for not playing Force of Will and stuff like that. So... Um, they only have 14 cards left in their deck right now. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. Bobbling me. Nope. They might also be out of... One sec. How many Echoes have they cast so far? One, two, three, four. They're out of Echoes. They have no more Echo of, of uh, Echo of Eons. Thanks, I got them uh, from someone I like. Uh, blockers. Can you block anything? Sure, we'll block and kill Emery. Sure, why not? They probably have another one in their hand, but... Whatever. Again, all I need is a way to sack this arena rector. And I've got it. This would also do it, but now I need to draw planes. <laughs> Alright, we won't even attack and hope for the... Uh, well, okay, we'll attack. No echoes left. All I have to do is outlast them. <laughs> this is so... Yes, use the ability. I need that rector back. Uh, yield through the turn. Good, good. They let me keep the black. So if I top deck, if I top deck a planes or any sort of white source, I win. <laughs> oh man, the odds of me winning just went up dramatically, and they just went back down because he chose a mycosynth lattice um, with Karn. So I'm about to get lattice locked here. Do I have anything that can sack without an ability? No. <laughs> yeah, the lettuce lock. <laughs> um, well, did they really... I'm at eight. They've got enough to kill me in the air. But let's kill the, the Urza for now. Nothing else, I'm making them run their clock. Yeah. <laughs> Get seven cards, discard therapy to win. Okay, six more cards, folks. <laughs> um, we'll attack. They did keep one Thopter back. They're smart. <sighs> There's not a land with, like, ETB sack, sadly. If there was, I'd be running it. Um... Dang it. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, no blocks. Sideboarding time. I'm bringing in the fairy macabs because I can pick stuff out of the graveyard, which will be good. Um, things that are coming out of my 250 card deck. <laughs> um, probably Nethroy, because he doesn't play well in this case. 
Oh, Leovold's definitely staying. Um, Deeds. Soul Herder, while good, was not going to turn that around for me, so I'll put one to the board, um, since it is a wish board. Um, the Collector Oof is the all-star that I need, and I've got one in the board to wish for, and I've got one in the main board to get to. Oh, yes, I'm playing Phyrexian Tower. I'm playing three of them. <laughs> and yeah, I couldn't have towered because of Karn. Karn and Lattice, yeah. But yes, I, I'm i playing a full four of one in the board to be wished for. Um, gosh, what else do I actually take out here that's not good? Um, maybe I put a Thrag Tusk to the board? I'm mostly sticking on creatures because then I can, if I get into a grindy situation somehow, um, I can at least still living wish for them out of the board. Um, yeah, I think the Thrag Tusk goes because I've got Spare in the main deck. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, we're going to go first. I'll show off Yorion. Reclaimer, Field of the Dead, Peatland, Brutality. Um, this is pretty good. Um, I can escalate this Collector Brutality at least once to do a drain, which might not be meaningful, and pick a card out of the hand, um, and use that to fuel up the Reclaimer. So we're going to go with that. Turn one, Reclaimer. Turn two, Brutality. Probably discarding the Peatland. Because I've already, I'm already covered on uh, green and black. Um, oh crap! I'm on the play. Don't make this mistake twice. Uh, oh yes, you got into my closet. Please don't go in there, Nimbus. Sorry, my cat just got into my closet, but she walked out and meowed at me, which makes me think she didn't get into too much trouble. Uh, main phase, we can yield through the turn. I have nothing to do on their turn. Bubble, bubble, opal. Okay. Um, wow. Yep. Uh, bubble, LED, and... The, oh, wow. Chalice on one at the start. Well, I can actually double escalate and kill Emery here, too. This is actually going to be very good. Um, bubble is... Look at a random card. What did they see? They saw the Misty Rainforest. Okay. Excellent. All right. Uh, Misty Rainforest is going in. All right. The drain life isn't going to matter, but yeah, ditching the land to make the uh, Elvish Reclaimer bigger might matter. <laughs> That's what I am uh, thinking about. Well, all that'll happen over time. Um. So we're going to fetch here. They don't run wastes. I saw plenty of their deck. Um, and we have green black, so I need I need another green source for the lich at some point, so that means we're getting a trop. Um, and we're going to escalate two modes. We're going to make them discard and we're going to kill Emery. Cast. Choose the opponent, choose the creature, pay the mana. To say this all out loud because otherwise I mess stuff up. Discard that. I'm making them discard an Echo of Eons. Not my finest moment. All right. <clears throat> um, they do have enough mana to cast it too, so that'll be uh, interesting. Through the turn. Yeah, what else did I reveal? City of Traders and an island. Yeah, they definitely have enough mana for it. There's the city. City Mopal. Echo Time. Astrolabe. Another Brutality. <laughs> and Ugin. So they could probably just Brutality again. Oh, nope. They've got another Echo. Three mana up. Okay, now what do I have? I have a Cabal Therapy, a Pernicious Deed. Pernicious Deed for zero is so good! Oh, that's gonna happen. Deed for zero. <laughs> oh, man. Deed for zero. 
Uh, I can crush them. All right, I look to, oh, and that's gone. <sighs> but, um, yeah, that's three echoes gone. Okay. Yeah, you can song request by doing exclamation mark SR. Yeah, Goku charging for 10 hours. Let me, uh, oh, let me find one. Um, it's one, two, three, four, five. What are you getting with Karn and LED? <clears throat> so I can get Lattice locked next turn. No, I, I can get away for another Echo? Really? Is that all four of them in one turn? What the heck? They're just blowing their whole load right here. Um, let me find... There's a specific song that uh, would be good right now. There it is. Oh, it's my turn. Yep. Uh, <laughs> okay. Bobble away. Ooh, Fiend Artisan. Not actually the worst card I could have drawn here. Uh, we're going to tick Karn down, because then that gives me one more turn before I get Lattice locked. Um, unless they've got another Karn, which is entirely possible. But let's get a Fiend Artisan. And yield through the turn. So fiend Artisans get boosted by the creatures in my yard, but I can also tap sack another creature to uh, tutor for another creature from the deck. So right now that's not much. Like, I can get one drops, um, and there's no one drops that get me out of this at the moment. However, if I can get one more land, sack this away for a Collector Oof, uh, lock them out of all of their artifacts, um, then I think I might have a chance at this. Um, especially, can I only do that as a sorcery? Only as a sorcery, okay, yeah. Um, oh, I just yield, oh crap, uh, yield through the ability. Oh, sorry. Okay. Stack ability okay. Karn is getting a walking ballista. Okay, ballista on two, on three, to wipe my board. Okay, that's fair. It's a good choice. It's a very good choice. <laughs> yep, there's one. And they did it in the right order, too. Uh, the LED City of Traders goes away to the tomb. Tomb themselves to 11. Three mana up, four Psy. Okay. Let's play the Heath. And yield through the turn. They're really just playing against the clock here. There's Karn. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They've got enough for it. Oh boy. Um, yeah, Battle of Fits. <laughs> Nick Fit Battle of Wits. I've had a bad showing with it today. I beat, like, I've... Before today, I've won three matches with it. Um, out of seven <laughs> at the time. Uh, now I've lost four more, which puts me at, like, three and seven out of... Or three and eight out of eleven. I did lose one to time that I could have pulled out. Um, but I... Uh, I did dumb things. So... What can we do here with a collective brutality with one mode? They don't currently have anything in hand that I need to get rid of, that I can get rid of. I can kill Emery. I can't kill Psy, which is the real problem. Um, I can get... Yeah, I can't kill Psy. I can kill Emery. Um, I can get a Dryad Arbor. Um, because I'm going to get Lattice locked, almost certainly. So let's kill Emery because it slows them down the most. Yeah. 
Yep. Um, yield through the turn. This one I need to watch carefully because as soon as I see the mycosynth lattice coming down. Um, okay. What do we got? Mycosynth lattice. Yep. Tomb. Crack fetch. Dryad Arbor. The good news is they're going to be pretty stuck on land. And now we can yield through the rest of the turn. So can they get enough Thopters to kill me before they run out of time? And yield through the turn. No attacks. Keep it back as a surprise side blocker. <laughs> this is ending up being like not a very entertaining game. Though the deck is very fun to play. No attacking with Sai. Yeah, no attacking with Sai. Good choice. Uh, yield through the turn. No attacks. They're doing the smart thing and just attacking rather than play anything else so as not to waste time. Probably definitely dead to this. <laughs> they have their own LED on zero. Excellent. Um, let's heal through the turn. Thing is, yeah, they could attack with Lattice and I can block it once. Um, do I block? No. Oh, no, the current song is not that. The current song is um, song from the Celeste soundtrack. Um, I don't think I block here because then I can maybe swing in and get them to mess up. I don't know. I'm definitely dead in the air, though. Oh, actually, I can just... Oh, do I kill Karn? Because if I kill Karn, I can activate my abilities again. They may have just messed up. Because um, then I have one Abrupt Decay, which is not going to be enough here. Um, let's kill the Karn. So now I can abrupt decay something, but I'm at four, and there are four Thopters in the air. Um, there's nothing I can Living Wish for. I can Ewit for. My best bet is to hope they misplay on the attack, and then I can abrupt decay something uh, if they only attack with four. They're doing full send. Okay. We'll decay there. GG's. All right. Ugh, zero and four. Some days you just don't have it. We'll do. We'll do one more since since there's lots of folks watching, and we'll hopefully get a win. As the shirt says, uh, a single victory is all I need. I'm playing jank. <laughs> it's what I need. Yeah, kill Karn to show dominance. <laughs> it's always the plan. <laughs> All right. Huh. Well, thank you all for tuning in. Um, I will be back playing something a little less janky, um, but still, still jank um, on Sunday. Um, just as a preview, I'm probably going to be playing this or some list like this for Confounding Neophyte is what I'm calling it. Uh, it uses four con Confounding Conundrums um, and uh, 
two neo forms. So confounding conundrum um, will fight against fair decks, and neo form lets me toolbox for things um, like uh, out of the sideboard. I've got like a revoker I can toolbox for, or Leovold, or like Knight of the Autumn, or tireless tracker or scoos or collector oof but you get the point lots of different like toolbox creatures i can get with neoform um, to fight combo decks um, and so i can beat fair decks i can do pretty good against mid-range decks um, and i can have a reasonable attempt against uh, combo decks well and i think this is probably the best positioned um, nick fit list that exists right now so i'll probably end up playing that on um Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Um, right here on twitch.tv slash the Spiffy Neostar. If you are interested in more jank like this, um, I have a whole YouTube channel that is dedicated to jank like this. Um, the link is down below, or you can go to um, YouTube. Let me grab the... URL because I don't have it set up to auto post, but if you do, that is my YouTube channel and you can see all sorts of jank like this. Now, on to this game. We have a vet, we have a brutality, we have a bird, um, we have deed, and this is good. I can play things in this hand. It's a battle of wits deck and I can play things from the hand, so this is a keep. Okay, uh, the birds come down first, though, uh, just to be sure. Ooh, Inquisition. That hits my whole hand. Rude, but okay. Um, let's see. Yes, that is the correct uh, song that is playing. This is one of my, like, get pumped uh songs there goes the vet okay that's fine uh i can still plague engineer some stuff out of this so peatland comes first into the boids and then we're done and yeah probably lands probably depths Let's see. Yeah, definitely depths. I've got a thespian stage now. Oh, is there anything I can do to stop that with what I have in my hand? Probably not right now. With a court of calling, also probably no. Um, so I don't have enough mana to get anything with it that's useful yet. Uh, definitely have to get the Sanctuary here. Brutality gives me life. Yeah, that's 100% what the right play is here. Um... <laughs> Thanks for having me not pay life. We're going to escalate and we'll peep the hand and make him discard, hopefully, something. Um, choose the opponent. Choose the opponent. Um, Plague Engineer is pretty useless. Like, no, Plague Engineer is better than Pernicious Deed because Plague Engineer can kill a Vampire Hex Mage. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so I have two turns of life here because I get to Birds of Paradise. Oh, double Pithing Needle and now, oh, yeah, with Sajiri Step. Ooh, I'm pretty done for. Well, all right. Let's uh, yield through the rest of the turn. Okay, so they have a stage. They don't have a Dark Depths yet. So that's good. They don't have a way to get a Dark Depths right now. Which is also good. And here's when I see a crop rotation. This is very winnable. Or another Sylvan Scrying? Wait, Thespian Stage is becoming a copy of my Nurturing Peatland. Okay. Two Pithing Needles is very annoying, though. 
Okay, um, Plague Engineer Tireless Tracker. Um, I mean, it, it doesn't matter because I don't play Wasteland, but they should have copied the forest <laughs> um, in case I play Wasteland. Um, I think Tireless Tracker is the better play here. It lets me Court of Calling for something more a little later. Um, and it also synergizes with hopefully getting some land drops. Um, so we're going to do that. We'll move those over there, uh, and we can yield through the turn. Yeah, Living Wish, I can grab Caracas, um, is a good out. Um, just drawing into Caracas, I have at least one in the main deck. Yeah, I've got one in the main deck, one in the board. Um, I've got a couple other ways to wish for arbitrary cards out of the board, or out of the main deck, so that's good. Oh, there's the Hex Mage. Well, I know what Plague Engineer's coming down naming next. <laughs> next turn is Plague Engineer for Shaman. <laughs> One Spike Weaver. Probably. So yeah, I think he wanted the Peatland so that he could then draw deeper into the deck. Uh, Petal. For Pithing Needle. Okay. Name's Nurturing Peatland. Okay, right, because it's activate abilities unless they're mana abilities. Okay, so I can't draw mana, I can't draw off my nurturing peatland. That is totally okay by me. Um black, 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 plague engineer. <laughs> Name Shamalama Ding Dong. Go to combat. Beat for three. <laughs> yeah, so nice to cord for. Yeah, I've so I've got um I think I have two cords, two finale three finale of devastation, and four green sun zeniths. Um the deck list here is uh is in the stream decker overlay, uh, but I can also post it right there. That's what I'm running. Um yeah, four green sun zenith, three finale of devastation. And two Court of Calling, yeah. Um, Inquisition me. Yeah, okay. I lose the Court of Calling. Dude, yeah, this deck is huge. You have... So, it is absurd, and this is going to sound really dumb to say this, but when I was putting this deck together, it was really hard to find room for things. <laughs> like, I had a remarkably difficult time fitting in everything that I wanted to have in this deck <laughs> because there wasn't enough space in my 250 card Battle of Wits deck. <laughs> it it sounds it sounds nonsensical when I put it that way. But it's true. <laughs> um I don't run anything with flash, so let's uh be aggressive and get in for five. JK, get in for six. Yeah, there's just too much good stuff. <laughs> like, you may joke, but there's just too much good stuff. <laughs> Alright, next turn I can bring to light for five, so blue, black, uh Yeah. Excellent. Uh they don't do enough with the graveyard that I want more than like two fairy macabs. Um can I pull out to the side? I can pull a Thrag Tusk. No, oh, I need the Thrag Tusk in. Well, no, I'd want a Thrag Tusk I can wish for. That'd be good. A Rhino I can wish for would also be good. Um, yeah, half the time I'm just putting stuff out to wish for it with uh, Living Wish rather than just like bring it in. No, none is the correct number of Okos for this list. Um... This is fine. 
I wonder if he thinks if I have a transformative sideboard or not. I made that joke to a different person I was playing against, and he's like, transformative how? You just take out the the uh, Battle of Wits? I was like, who said I was playing Battle of Wits? Yeah, well, I mean, it was pretty obvious. Um, okay, uh, one lander, lots of three drops, lots of two drops, and nothing I can play. This is a mulligan. One lander, and again, nothing to play. They also mull to six, so I'm actually going to definitely mull on this as well. Here we go. Um, so we have a wish. Oh my gosh, this is a fantastic hand. Okay, so we have wish, tower, um, souls. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, okay. We're keeping it five. We're putting away the sanctuary and the waterlogged grove. Um, and we need to draw a land so we can wish into rector sack rector win um, and even then we don't need to because we can lingering souls sack a lingering soul for yeah we have we have shenanigans uh and we have a path to victory here um so let's start with that and yield through the turn uh yeah and also backup plan wish for caracas <laughs> Looks like I'm going to be wishing for Caracas. <laughs> um, looks like I might not wish for Caracas here because I have an Elvish Reclaimer. Um, and that means next turn I can sack something. I can sack this planes and turn it into a Caracas. Yes, it'll be tapped. Um, but I have options. In fact, what I'm actually going to do on my turn um, is I'm going to play the Frexian Tower and just hard cast Lingering Souls. Um, that gives me two 1-1 one, one blockers in the air. Um, it still leaves me vulnerable to be to die to Sajiri Step, um, which is not great. However, it sets me up and puts me in a much better position. Okay, never mind. There goes that plan. Let's see what they take. The brutality, interesting. Very interesting. That would have been my last pick. Yeah, uh, I think I need to Caracas. Um, the only thing that I'm scared about is like wishing for Caracas and then getting it wastelanded and just run over. Um, yeah, and they tapped for the Kozilek. Um, why did I just play a land? Alright, count that up for a punt. <laughs> Souls it is! <laughs> um, and then we'll yield through the turn. And if I get blown up by Sajiri Step, I get blown up by Sajiri Step. Yeah. There's the guide. Yep. You were yeah, you were right. They had they had the spirit guide. Crop rotation for it. Yep. Dang it. Yeah, yeah, chat, as always, was right. Uh, okay, game three. We can do this. That was a bad punt. That was real bad. Ugh. This is it. For every single one of the marbles. Set the metaphorical die on top of my library. Where, where's my library? I can go get it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go first against lands. Sure, I'll show you Yorion. There are no lands in this hand. There are lots of lands in this hand. And there's a Caracas as one of those lands. I am going to keep this hand. Um, I have a blue, I have a black. I think... Ugh. 
So the question becomes, I want to keep the Siege Rhino. I want to keep the Strix. I think I get rid of the Maelstrom Pulse. Yes, the Maelstrom Pulse goes. Um, oh, wait, one sec. Well, it's gone. Okay. Let's put down a peatland first and yield through the turn. Next turn, two mana, draw one, play a Baleful Strix. <laughs> two mana, pay two, draw one, Baleful Strix. <laughs> But yeah, playing around Wasteland is what I'm worried about. Alright, I will get Thought Seized, and they will see that I have a Caracas. Yeah, do they side into Wasteland? I don't know. Like, I don't think they, well now they know I have Caracas, but I'm not sure they would have known ahead of time that I run Caracas in the deck. True, pissing needle to name that. Oh, Ghost Quarter. Hmm. Three life thought seize. I'll get it back with a siege rhino. Yeah, let's pick apart their hand. Uh it's better than doing nothing right now. Alright. If scrying crop rotation and a oh my god, they already have a dark depths. Um um, and the step. Oh my gosh. But I have Caracas, so I'm good on that front. Um, crap. Um, so if I get Cro I, th I think Hexmage is right, but I don't know. Um, counting up some mana here. The rest of their lands are slow, um, so they either have to scrying to get enough to or crop. Or, yeah, hex mage, hex mage, hex mage, hex mage. Yes. Um, yeah. Otherwise, they have mana problems um, because otherwise they need to tap for two, which I've got another turn on, um, or they need to crop rotate away their bayou and then still need two more mana. Um, cool. I'm getting bajuked. Oh, they're getting bajuked. Okay. Oh, no, it's me. Okay. Um, let's play the Grove, because I know I've still got another turn, at least, before I get uh, Dark Depths. Dark Depths. That's a tongue twister. All right. Here comes the Scrying. Yeah, scry me a river. Go thespian stage. Clear that out of there. Down comes the thespian stage. Yup. Okay. Okay. Enough stuff there. Now comes down the Caracas. And I have to wait a turn before I drop my siege rhino. So we will. Uh, yield through the turn. Okay. Could get laged at any moment. Alright, that was anticlimactic. Um, black, uh, green, white, one, sea trino. And then yield through the rest of the... Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Yield until end step. Undo yield. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. All right. Get their copy. Dark Depths goes to no counters. I get rid of Merit Leish. Oh! 
Oh, wow. 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 Nice tech. Oh, man. And he must have top decked that too. Oh, no. Oh. Ugh. Dang, if these weren't my first two lands, the Siege Rhino would have put me over 20 to live. Oh, man. All right. We are going to do the thing that I traditionally will end with for the night. And that is going back to one of my favorite magic decks of ye olden times that I used to play. Um, which is called Your Deck. Um, and if anybody would like to challenge me and can come in here quick enough to the free challenge room, uh, I will play one last game of this before I uh, wind up for the night. Man, not of this world. Ugh. I don't think I had a way to play around that anyway. So it's like, I definitely got got. Um, but, man... Ugh. Rough night for Battle of Fits tonight. Rough night. Ah, <sighs> but thank you all for tuning in. Uh great to see you uh all here. This is I think the most viewers I've ever had. <laughs> so, I appreciate you choosing to spend uh your time here. Um uh, if you're if you're in the town for more jank, uh, I'll be playing the Eternal Weekend event uh, this Sunday at 11 p.m. or 11 a.m. Pacific. That's 2 p.m. Eastern or whatever your time zone is. Um, if you want to look, one sec, where is it? It's uh, it's in the Mazabith one. So it is in two hours, or sorry, two days, 12 hours, and one minute. Uh, is when that will start. So uh, you can do the math on your own uh, time zone there. Um, if you want to catch more of that. If you want to see some deck techs on some some fun jank, including uh, hearing all about uh, my favorite um, my favorite legacy deck, which is Mono Blue Martyr, um, you can find that at my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash fringeworthy. I'm on buddies only? That explains why no one's fighting me. Leave match. Thank you to uh, Nathematics and Knight of Winds for the follow. Um, oh, nope. Practice. Create. There we go. Anyone can join. I thought it was the other way around. There we go. Excellent. Knight of Winds. Uh, now, no, sc no screen peeking here. Um, I will just let you know that the deck that I'm playing is called Your Deck. So... Um, time for math. One, two, three, four. We're good. Okay. Non-ideal, but should work well enough. Slow but functional is how I will describe this hand right now. Uh, yield the turn. Let's see what we're up against. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I love this. I love this so much already. Okay. Um, what's our best opening play? Uh, we're going to scrub. We're going to mox with a uh, terminus. There we go. Um, we'll pedal also. And then yield. All right. For those of you uh, watching uh, at home, please observe the centerpiece of uh, of the deck. <laughs> um, chances of me dying to Nomad and Core beats uh, right now very high, very high. <laughs> Okay, combat two. Uh, 
All right. It's time. It's time. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's time. Oh. That Aether Vial is going to do you a whole not much good. Oh, this is going to be so good. All right. Uh, let's see my options. Yeah, that's right. I just enlightened tutored for a Lotus Petal. <laughs> I really hope they're super confused right now. Um, we need to grab the Tundra, right? Because they're, yeah, they're on Esper colors too. So we can grab the Tundra. Um, play the pedal. And then white, blue, white, uh, blue, red for fun. Shared fate, boys! And girls, and those who prefer to self-describe. We're in it. <laughs> but like I said, I'm just going to die to uh, Nomads of Encore beats here. Almost, almost certainly. I need to get a creature that can trade with their Nomads from their deck. All right, um, this is going to be my, uh, yeah, Stoneforge Mystic would be kind of good. I wouldn't be able to search for any equipment out of my deck. And the things I draw from their deck would not go into my hand, so I wouldn't be able to use the second ability. But I can block and trade. <laughs> That's what matters. Using wizard. Okay. Oh, hey! You know what else trades with a 2-1? 1-1. Uh, one? One, one. There we are. I'm not immediately dead. Uh, I have a deck tech on this deck on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's super fun to play and uh, troll your friends that play Miracles or play combo decks. Um, I once uh, donated to... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Here we go. Let's brainstorm. And by brainstorm, I mean Ancestral Recall. <laughs> Is green in the deck? What the heck? Um... What could they be going up with Aether File? I only get one shot at this because I can't flash it back. <laughs> Probably Stoneforge Mystic. Stoneforge Mystic is what I am most worried about because getting an equipment out of the... Oh! Batter Skull is also bad. Um... Yeah, splash is green for once upon a time. What the heck? Okay. Um, well, I can yield through the turn. I don't need to fetch yet. <clears throat> if I get one more land, I can brick them on a draw. In the top five, I can reel a creature huh? or land. Hmm. Put it into my hand and rest on bottom in a random order. Okay, so that's mostly useless. Oh, they're actually going to get a Chrome Mox for black? Nice. One, two, three, four. So they're one mana away from batter sculling me to death. <laughs> Um, so here's what I think I need to do, and that's I need to start fetching as many lands out of my deck as possible. So, uh, Mystic Sanctuary, 
three or more other islands. I am at two other islands. So let's I'll grab the uh, watery grave tapped. <laughs> so goal is try to starve them of lands from my deck so that they can't cast a batter skull. <laughs> See, this is what's so fun about this deck, is you have to think of the weirdest lines. Um, yeah, Mystic Sanctuary can get back Enlightened Tutor and force them to draw my Enlightened Tutor to give them basically a brick to draw. Um, oh yeah, Stuff a Little Illusionist. Comes a target of a spell ability. Mill 3. <sighs> All right. I think I can just breakfast. Not quite. <laughs> That's probably enough. Is that enough? I don't think it's enough. Uh, there we go. Six. Uh, one more. Excellent. I no longer have a deck. Fun fact, too, I can now flash back my own Cabal Therapy, sacking the Illusionist, because I don't need to mill anything anymore, and get rid of the Batter Skull. <laughs> I think I win. GG. <laughs> so, the way Shared Fate works, they won't lose from drawing out of an empty library, um, but they just don't get to draw anything with Shared Fate. And so they are stuck with, I think I have two cards. They have two of my cards face down in exile, and that's all they have for the rest of the game. So I think I got him. So the story I tried to tell just a bit ago, um, fantastic and wonderful um, elf streamer, It's Julian, had a, uh, a thing for a while where you could... Um, uh, let's grab that, 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 um, and those. Where you could donate to his stream and he would... Um, play a deck that you request and this was the deck that I made him play uh, and he has said afterwards that it was the most fun deck he has had to play on stream before um, it's it's pretty crazy I'm, I'm happy with how much fun this is not just for me but for other people that uh, watch and try it as well Okay, so we're going to try and actually run Mnemonic Betrayal here, because I think with Cephalid Breakfast, I might... Oh no, it's Sorcery Speed. I don't think they have a chance to whiff, so that's out. Let's bring the Termini, the termini back in. Um... Yeah. Ley lines over surgical extraction is probably the right choice. Well, actually, no, we can do both. That's 61 still. Um, cut back a preordain, another preordain. 
Okay, two extractions, four ley lines, and I switched into a breeding pool for a watery grave. <laughs> Fantastic way to end the uh, evening. Um, this is a keepable hand for two reasons. One, it has a ley line, which is good. And two, I have a way to get shared fate. Normally, when you are playing this deck, everything is about counting to five mana, which also I can do, and finding a way to get shared fate. Um, I have both of those with this hand, and I have ley line. This is probably the best possible hand I could have game two in this matchup. <laughs> Um, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five. So I need two lands down. Um, I'll hold the sanctuary back if I can. Hmm. Chef kiss hand motion. This is great. Um, let me think here. If I tuck that under, that'll put me at one, two, Three, four, five mana. I can shared fate next turn. All right. <clears throat> Ugh. Okay. Stoneforge Mystic. What do we have to deal with here? It's Batter Skull again, okay. Their end step. We fetch. I think we grab... It doesn't actually matter too much. But we're going to grab the Tundra here. Um, and use that to Enlighten Tutor for a Shared Fate. And then we draw for turn. We play the Polluted Delta. We fetch. Let's grab, uh, I need a black source, so in this case we'll grab the, let's go with the undergrounds. No, I want the scrubland for double white. I'm more likely to get white cards out of that deck. Um, so chrome mox. Okay. I'm gonna stick the brainstorm underneath. Uh, dark writ. And shared fate. <laughs> they still have a batter skull that I have to find a way to deal with. <laughs> I don't think I have one. So the smarter move may have actually been to drop the Mystic Sanctuary and keep the brainstorm so I could shared fate and then draw three from their deck to dig deeper. Maybe. I'm a, I'm honestly not sure. Um Yep, that's my ponder, I think, All right? Yeah, that's my ponder. They get to look at their top three and then draw from my deck. Rude. Basically fate stealing me. Um, I think I play their underground C, and we pass the turn and start getting batter sculled. Five turns at this. Oop. The question is, what do they have on their, in their deck that I can get um, that can beat a batter skull? Do they run spot removal? Would it be my own batter skull? <laughs> oh, Shuko. Gosh. <laughs> a true, yeah, true name nemesis, maybe? 
Like, I really don't know enough about Cephalid Breakfast. Of, like, all the Tier 2 combo decks, it's the one. Um... <sighs> like, of all of the, like, Tier 2 and 3 combo decks that are out there, this is the one I know the least about. Ooh. Uh, we can just heal through the turn. I probably shouldn't have played that Aether Vial. I know I'm not ever going to have a creature in hand. So the thing is, if you're ever playing against a Shared Fate deck, you have to sideboard out all of the cards that are good against your own deck. And then you just mulligan until you uh, find a hand that has like a creature in it that can beat face. Or in this case, Stoneforge Mystic. Um, let's do, okay. So here, we need to put that on. We need to always yield, and we are going to always know. <laughs> okay. Game three. <laughs> Does draw card... Yeah, draw card draws from me. <laughs> Alright, sideboarding. So I need all my hand disruption. Um, honestly, I uh, I might need to bring back in a terminus or two. Let's bring back in the termini um, and take out the extractions because that will let me um, that'll let me hopefully wipe the board before I shared fate. Let's give that a try. Believe it or not, with Shared Fate, you don't want to go first. Because I want to draw more of my deck so I can get Shared Fate out faster. And I want my opponent to draw as little of their deck as possible. That said, we have an absolutely stellar hand here. We are one land short of Shared Fading, or one mana short of Shared Fading. And we have plenty of digging tools for things. We don't have a way to uh, hate Graveyard yet, um, but that's okay. Good. I would have felt bad if they accidentally whiffed their first turn and didn't realize that they were playing Lance. Aha! And there it is. So we need... One more turn on this, and we should be good. So let's start out with a ponder. Um, let's put them back like this. Draw the dark ritual, I think. Let me think here. So I draw the Dark Ritual, then that's five. But then I need discard. And I end up with another land in hand. So yes, I am going to shuffle because I don't need any of those things. Okay. Toot toot. You'll do the turn. Okay. So the tutor is going on the... Or the tutor is going under the Chrome Mox. Um, there we go. And that needs to fetch for something blue. And there's the Stoneforge Mystic. Yep. Luckily, though, I have the double brainstorm here, which will let me um, draw six of their cards. Um, which should be... Uh, oh, and a Ponder. Beautiful. Let's fetch here. Grab the Tundra. Um, I need to Chrome Mox. Yeah, Monsieur ESG is here in the chat, hanging out. Okay. Don't need the tutor. The tutor can go. 
Blue, white. Oh, yeah. Got to do the dark ritual first. Then the share fate. No! <laughs> My one weakness. Soft counter magic. Do I have win cons? Yeah, I have a win con. It's called Shared Fate and my opponent's deck. <laughs> That's how I'm going to win. <laughs> I did used to run Spirit Guides in the deck, um, but I lost way too many games to my opponent after I had um, Shared Fate out. Um, casting my Spirit Guides and beating me to death with them. <laughs> so... So that was gone right away. Um, let's try and thought seize them, even though I know I can't get that batter skull out of their hand because they can Stoneforge Mystic for it right now. Oh yeah, if I resolve it, there's nothing in my deck they can draw to win. Um, with small exceptions. Um, if they are a storm deck and they kept tendrils in their hand then they could hypothetically get enough fast mana and card draw um, to be able to um, tendrils me to death. Illusionist, Brainstorm, Narc Amoeba, and Swords. Let's get rid of the... Eh. Let's get rid of the Illusionist, just because it's a creature that can start putting a clock on me. Um, and we will ponder. Uh, none of these are a shared fate or a way to get them, so we're shuffling. And I get another ponder. Okay. One of the innovations from uh, uh, It's Julian brewing this was putting in Jace the Mind Sculptor, uh, because it's uh, basically it can help you win in a fair fight, but if they get it, it literally can't do anything to you, and the ult can't cause you to lose the game because with shared fate you can't lose from drawing from an empty deck because you don't draw um so it's all upside no downside um so that was a cool addition to the deck okay now we need fast mana um put that back uh, that back, that back. No shuffle. Draw. <clears throat> We're going to be in a real sticky wicket here. Okay. We have a chance, though. <clears throat> I have found, I saw it when making them discard, that they have swords to plowshares in the deck. I lost a share fate when it was block legal. It was quite hilarious to lose to my own death clouds. Yes. Um, the shared fate deck in standard was uh, somewhat legit. Um, oh, this is clever. Brainstorm into Once Upon a Time to get rid of some stuff. Smart. Okay, they get a narc. Take five, I'll go to seven. I've got like two cards. I'll be able to see seven cards from their deck if everything goes well. Um, to either get some chump blockers, which will get swords, um, or some removal for that germ token. Am I going to get a hard cast uh, Narc Amoeba here? Because that's what this looks like. <laughs> okay. Athos's Oracle. Devotion to Blue is still two. So. Okay. Okay. 
Cast the pedal. Do I have Force of Will in the deck? I used to, um, but I don't anymore. Uh, turned out to not be very good. Um, it was too... The card disadvantage was too much to uh, to lose to... Oh, crap! Crap, I'm going to give him a Brainstorm. Ugh. I messed that up. Well, I'm not going to give him a Brainstorm, because I'm going to shuffle this away. And then I'm going to get to Ponder. Um, uh, let's just get a plain old island. And then... We're going to ponder. They can have a strand on the bottom, then pedal, then tutor. Shuffle my library. No. Draw. A recruiter of the guard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm just dead now. Uh, you're so confused what's happening? Well, so, I cast Shared Fate, and it was out. With Shared Fate out, I draw from their deck. So, Brainstorm lets me draw three cards into Exile face down. But I messed up because I had two Brainstorms in hand. I should have waited. I should have waited until I could have cast both Brainstorms holding priority, so I could have both of them there and put none of them back, draw six of their cards. As it stands, I drew three of their cards, put my Brainstorm back into my deck, and it's gone. <laughs> All right. Huh. Well, that is where we are going to uh, end for the night. Um, let's really quickly look around. Um, let me bring Twitch in here. Um, MTG Legacy. Oh, fine. Who is streaming Legacy right now? Chat, if you know anyone who's streaming Legacy right now, let me know, and we will we will all go over there because I am going to uh, go watch for a bit. Romaria. Ooh, yeah. Sweet. Okay, so let's go there. All right, folks. It has been a pleasure. Uh, my name's Patrick. This is Fringeworthy. Check me out. I'll be streaming back on Sunday, and you can find me on YouTube by searching um, for Fringeworthy. Um, MTG. I've got a lot of deck techs about weird magic decks. Um, so yeah, let's head on over and say hi to Romario. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend. Now, oh, why is there an ad still? Yeah, let's just move that out of there. Farewell, folks. See you on the other side.